All right. Um, hello everyone. Now, to those who I didn't ping a million times before this stream started. Okay, I got it here. Um, that made it worse. Basically, the whole point of this stream is that I, I am going to be making an entire Roblox project in one day. Or, more specifically, in the amount of time that is left on that timer at the top of the screen. Let's see it about here. When that timer hit zero, project is either just not ready to like go and it's a fail project, or I publish it. Either way, I am only giving myself one day, no more, no less. So, let's do some planning. Okay, let me pull up this. I've got like a like Google Docs here that I'm trying to use, so just give me a second. Okay, so. Here is the uh, Google Doc. We're going to do a little bit of planning first because it's always good to, do, to plan out your projects. Okay, so... Okay, so this is our start and end times. Uh, is it 8.15? It's actually a bit past 8.15. Okay. Um, so, description. Uh, I need a name and setting. And I need a description. I'm thinking it's going to be like one of those like vibe games. If y'all know what I'm talking about. Like the thing where you just like chill and relax with friends. <sighs> Sorry, I literally just woke up. <laughs> I wanted to wake up early so I could get, get as much time in on this project as I could. And my coffee ran out. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so. Let's get to planning. So if I go to the Trello page I've made here, you can see we have a couple of ideas about where we can put the game, like setting-wise, because this is going to influence the entire like build style. So we could do like a boat or like a private cruise, space station, um, empty parking lot. Just a bit more of like an ambient thing, like think Nico's next spots, but like open air parking lot. Or we could do a log cabin, which I think's been done already. I mean, mm. sorry. I mean, this whole genre isn't really like a herald of originality, but it helps, you know. Um, so I think, hmm, okay, I'm going to just go through and think about the pros and cons of going with each of these. So with the private cruise, um, depending on the size of the boat, it could be relatively easy to build. However, it could also be very difficult to build. Um, that I can't exactly know until I start it. Space Station opens up a lot of opportunities for different layout designs. However, um, it could also be seen as like, um, I, I guess unintuitive? Or just like, not a place you would normally want to be for, like, think of the average like Roblox player. They probably wouldn't want to go to a space station instead of like just like an apartment to chill out. <sighs> okay, sorry for all the yawning. <laughs> Promise it'll be over within about an hour. Um I could have the empty parking lot. I could work. Um we have to put like food trucks and stuff in it and then like probably one of those drive in movie theaters. Could open up some opportunities, although since it's just a parking lot, it could be kind of boring. I'd have to figure out a way to do the like edge of the map. It's just gonna be an endless parking lot. Um. <sighs> and then we have the log cabin idea, which again has been done before. Now, more ideas we could do. Um. We could do like, like a penthouse kind of thing. Um, basically, it's just like the top floor of a skyscraper or something. 
Um, plane's already been done. I think a train car's already been done. Um, I'm gonna think of what else. Gas station, maybe? I mean, gas station sim has been taking off recently. That could be interesting. Um, obviously, I wouldn't copy the exact layout, but like, yeah, Astrofuel. Yeah, that's not a bad name. Um, I'm still struggling about which one to pick, though. Also do like a coffee shop. That could be cool. Um I know Vibe Cafe is already a thing and it's practically the same thing, but we could get creative with it. That could be pretty interesting. Um Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be a uh, nighttime, uh, okay, nighttime in a desert. Um, and you're gonna be like on a road with a gas station and a coffee shop like connected like you know some some like gas stations have buildings strapped to them or like they split the building to fit multiple like locations it'll be a coffee shop and a gas station that way people can hang in the cafe or they can go to the gas station also opens up opportunities to maybe put like a like a small house or or tent ground if we have time would be interesting um We could also integrate the empty parking lot idea. Check that out. <laughs> ah, well, I appreciate that, Mocha. Uh, glad to see the dedication. <laughs> okay, so we have our setting. It's going to be in basically gas station simulator setting, but like permanently nighttime because nighttime has a cooler ambience. Oh, we could also use like a really pretty like star based skybox since there's going to be barely any lighting. That'd be cool. Need to reorganize this. Okay, so now that we have the setting, we need to make a plan. So, let's get to work and make a plan. We need to get some kind of layout done first, so quickly get a uh, R15 block rig in here so I can get a sense of scale. to work. Come on, where's Neon? Pressing the wrong button. Pressing the wrong button. Yeah, this, sh this should do. Set our increment to one. Actually, 
to a point five that'll make life easy. Actually, no, one, one, yeah. Um. So let's see. This will be the uh, road. Um. You won't be able to go down the entire road. Um. Just to make things a bit more simple. Be like crosswalks and stuff. Um, I should probably move the spawn off the road. Oh. Next, we would need the uh, parking lot. I guess we could have like a um, be a turning lane. Like, um, basically just like a small stretch of road that, um, cars like turn into to get in and out of the, uh, road. More like this, maybe. Um, so you have to round out those edges, but... Herp. No, that would be like a center lane, so... Well, this would be a two-lane road in the middle of nowhere. Perhaps this could just be like a bit of road to connect the uh, main road to the um, parking lot. It'd be a two-lane thing. And then we'd have the front base parking lot slash gas station area. Space there. Trip this out to here. This will be where the gas station area is. <clears throat> ah, man. Ah. <laughs> I swear I gotta wake up sometime, right? <laughs> now. Now that we have this, um, now we gotta think of like building scale, so. I suppose this could be the, like, gas station side. Um, and there'd be, like, doors connecting the gas station to the, to the, uh, cafe. Okay, and then... Get over here. And this would be the cafe side, so it would, like, stretch out. So that there would be, like, a little, like, coffee shop and whatnot. Um, a gas station would have a door out the back. So I should probably stretch out this road a little bit. Um, I'm gonna power the road something a bit different. Hmm. So again, gas station cafe. Um, I'll add some kind of like back area for the gas station so that there's like an office space. Kind of like, again, in gas station sim. <laughs> Taking a lot of inspiration from it here. I'm not trying to copy it. Um, I could also put like a, like a second entry lane for this. Yeah, that seems relatively even. Good enough. And then there could be like an employee parking lot back here. So I can and this road out. And just fill this space. Oh, well, this seems a bit wide for like a one lane parking lot kind of thing, so I can probably stretch that in. Okay, yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, So now to plan out the road, like design. So obviously you have the main stretch. Um, it would be your average like double yellow strips down the middle. Um, do white lines on the edge. Actually, no, we should do the terrain first. Um, so basically we're in the middle of a desert, right? So it's gonna be some kind of like sandy material. The base plate texture. 
Um, we go for just your average, like, sandy color. Feels a bit repetitive, does it not? I mean... I mean, yeah, that's the whole point, but, like... <laughs> feels flat. Because it is flat. It's just a giant brick. Hmm. Hmm. What if I make this into terrain? Do I have part to terrain? I don't actually. Hang on. Let me grab that. Here we go. Fifteen hundred. Okay, it's the experimental version. There is like a regular version. Okay. I was about to say, I'm not about to pay 1500 Robux for that. Hmm. Should probably just use the link here. Come on, I can't copy it. Okay, let me just view in browser. Okay, let's get you installed. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart studio for this. Hang tight, chat. Come on, window capture, really? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, there we go. Alright, we've got the plugin installed. Let's see how this works. If settings, ignore lock part, check for updates, leave part one converted. Probably won't delete it. Um we got sand. Okay, well, it's the exact same texture. I don't know what I was expecting, but terrain is likely going to be easier to work with long term, so I think I'll roll with it. But now I gotta, you know, drag up the entire rest of the map so that it's above that uh, four block voxel. Oh, that Z looping looks weird. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> Now I'm going to make these all smooth plastic so I don't get this weird circle effect. Oh, I still get it. It's probably just Roblox shading being weird. Oh, there we go. I'm going to color this differently so I can tell it apart. Yeah, I suppose I could connect the uh, back end of the road to the front. Sorry if this gets boring at times, but that's just going to be the nature of this project. <laughs> now... Let's move this back a little bit so we can add space for like pumps and stuff. I think the scale is good. Actually, it feels pretty big.
I'm gonna try to find a floor plan for a small coffee shop real quick. Yeah, this is definitely way too big. Um, we can scale back on the sides of the coffee shop. Probably more like that. The gas station? Yeah, this is also definitely too big. We can scale this down more like this, I guess. And the office just connects back here. So scale that down. Be like a break room or something. Now we can adjust the roads. Yeah, I can get rid of some of that space. Yeah, I like the sizing better. Hmm. Well, now that we have our layout, So we're converting it to an actual road. Just group those real quick. Make a new folder. Road. So there is actually an asphalt material now, which is pretty convenient. This is like a blackish color. Let's move it down. It's a bit more flush to the ground. Literally just Googling gas station in the middle of nowhere to get an idea for the kind of road quality that I'm looking for. Okay, so if you see here, um, let me open this in a new tab. We've just got the, um, oh, we're going to need a propane tank or some kind of fuel tank back here. Um, I want this kind of like thing on a pulse structure for the pumps. Um, and then you get the pumps themselves, of course. Probably model a car or two. That could be fun. Um, but then again, you can see here, like, it, it's just like exposed road on the ground with like concrete slabs and stuff. Not very high quality, to say the least. So I can probably make this like a later color. Light orangish hue, maybe. Hmm. Yo! 
Brittany Clive, thanks for the follow. Super appreciated. That should basically remake the gas station sim. Mm -hmm. I'm trying for this not to be a strict clone of gas station sim. Although it is a really good game, so... Well, there's the first fine boom of the day. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna add some, like, wedging to make this, like, curve a little bit. Let's go! Alright, let's see it. Oh, I don't have reclass pulled up. So here we go. Which part? Now, the trick for reorienting this is that you see which axes you need to adjust. So in this case, it's the X and Y axes, and you literally just flip them. And there you go, wedge. This way the transition seems a little bit more um, natural, I guess is the word I'd want to use. It just helps the look.
All right, we're in the clear. Um, <sighs> sorry for the delays, but um, that's the deal about Twitch. Sometimes that stuff just happens. Have to deal with it. It's over now though, so we're chilling. Um. Ah. Okay. Let's take a look here. Got our basic road layout. Um. I could like wedge the like edges here. So. Take this. Like that. Basically what I'm trying to do here is just um, make the road a bit smoother. That way it's uh, it, it looks nicer than just a rectangle. That, that's just boring. <laughs> Misaligned. Must have resized it somewhere. Is this one good? Yeah, we just. Oh. Oh, that's not even. Okay. That explains it. There. That was an even wedge. Guess not. This all look fine, right? Yeah, this all look fine. Now we have the wedges. Flip it around. Reside. Perfect. All right, roads are properly wedged. Next step would be road lines. So let's get to work on that. Reasonable. studio work with me. There we go. Let's get 18.5 studs. Basic road layout. Lines. I'll add gaps here in the middle for the, um, I guess, entrance and exit lanes. And I guess that means I can slow these down. They're, you know, entry and exit lanes. They don't need to be two lane. Now to add a 
had the lines for this. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with line here. This one. I got to about there. Now we can just scrunch this. Basically, I'm just trying to mark an edge of the road. Hmm. I think that should work. Make a stop sign. That'd be good. Got stop sign texture here. Quickly edit that in paint.net. I know y'all aren't able to see this, but I'll be over with it relatively quickly. Sign.jpg, magic wand, there now to transparent. Now I need to save this a PNG. That's saved. I'll actually model out the stop sign. Nope, not a module script. Don't want a module script. I want a model. Stop sign. started. So we'll have our pull. Seems a bit thick. Yeah, that's better. Actually, no, this could be thicker. Um, how about 0.15? That should work. Hmm. Here, oop. I don't think I want to duplicate the part. Get this like a darker color. Up a, have like a anchor in the ground, I guess. These could be like metal, I guess. That helps. Um. Hmm. I suppose the next thing to do would be making the actual like stop sign. Base plate, so a block. Put this down to point one studs. Probably big enough. should be facing this side. Basically telling cars to stop before you pull out onto an open highway. 
Um, I'll build the mount after. I'm just getting the sign built. Much, and then what I'll do is um, this part here will be the actual like texture mount. And then I'll build the actual like part for it. So. I'm just trying to get the octagon shape. Which part? Not octagony enough. I don't know how to how else to describe it. Um, let me move the texture out of the way so I can work on the base part a little more. better. Now for the texture. I found an image so I can just see it's a surface GUI, image label, on the back face. Yep. Let's get that. I can transparency one, border size zero, size one zero one zero. Get an image in. Stop sign PNG. There we go. Too grungy. I need to quickly center this. She seems a little thick. Let's fix that. Okay, that seems reasonable. Yeah, sign seems relatively lined up. Okay, let's get the mount made. First thing I'm gonna do is actually make this smaller on this axis so that I can reach the other parts a bit easier. There we go. Now rim on the uh theme for the <laughs> yeah atomic basically i'm going for like a coffee shop gas station combination so gas station coffee shop back office Right now, I'm just starting off with some props. Sounds cool, yeah, I sure hope it does. I'm gonna be working on it for the next like 16 hours. Okay, where's Archimedes at? 
in the chat. Y squared, 45 degrees. Ah, uh, those lengths aren't even. Inside. Hmm. Eh, it'll work for now. Mount. Oh, I can't render because there's an update available. Or, no, okay. Just one. Like, use this until that lines up. Click. Now I'm gonna, like, swap sides, flip axis, render. I can close Archimedes for now. Perfect. No, no, it's not. It's not perfect. Um, just close Archimedes for now. Make this a part then slice it. Make it as such. Yeah, yeah, complex nature of a stop sign. I mean, that's building for you, right? Things are just like that sometimes. Resize a line up in here. Send it into Alright, there's that corner done. Now, let's get this one done. Resize line really helps with stuff like this. One to go. Probably could have just modeled this in Blender by now, but eh. I want to improve my building skills. I want to build. So. Yeah. Got the rim done. I just extend the pole a little bit past the top. And we can start with the mounts. There and there. Now, here's the cool thing. You can just use the cylinder as part of the mount. Just doing this, scaling that back down. And doing like this or something. Yeah, that works. Again, doesn't need to be too complicated since it's literally just a stop sign, but every bit helps. Yay, stop sign. 
give it a concrete base real quick. Block. Something just to help it sit in the sand a little better. Make that a cylinder. This concrete. Stop sign. Done. Okay. Now let's resize everything to make sure it all fits. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Now we can drag this over here. Actually, I just realized this is literally the only place we're ever going to put a stop sign. We can't put one here. Um. So I can make like a no entry sign here. Actually, no, no, we need to build the actual parking lot. So, let's see. I want like a gas station, like a billion kind of thing. Like, um, let me see if I can get a photo of it. Okay, so chat. You see this like window thing here, like this this giant like slab with some pillars holding it up. This is kind of what I want here. Um, I don't actually know the purpose of these. Maybe they hold the gas. Who knows? <sighs> Man. But basically, I feel like that will help the like atmosphere a bit. Also, I really like the colors on this. I'm, I may actually steal that idea. Oh, it's a roof to protect from rain. Oh, that actually really makes sense since you since you don't want rainwater in your gas tank. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, thanks. Um. So yeah, we'll have one of those here. Um. We put explosive gas above cars. I don't know, man. I don't run a gas station. <laughs> Uh, okay. This is probably a good height for it. Also, speaking of rain, yeah, as STM just said, I want to add a rain effect, so... Do I have the rain plugin installed? I know there's a really good one, I just don't know if I have it installed. I don't have it installed, okay. Um... I think it's an ACG server somewhere. Operations, pin... What is it? Bang. Thought it was here. Um. Alright. Looks like it's time to browse for the, um. Browse for the rain plugin. Okay. Okay, plugin creator marketplace. Browse by keyword of rain. I know there's like a couple really good ones. Yeah, by the way, my monitor layout, uh, chat's over here. My regular, like, my regular monitor's straight ahead of me. And then, like, over here is just, just Discord and, like, other tabs. So if you see me looking in different directions, I'm not, like, staring into my walls or anything, don't worry. Okay, I think this is it. Rain plugin. Oh, it's in my inventory. Well, what, what? Huh? Wait. My plugins. Rain plugin. Oh my god. It's just not installed. Huh. Okay. Alright. Let's get some rain in here. Oh, come on. Rain. Um, okay, allow script editing, sure. Um, I think I broke it. Uh. Okay, I may have to restart the plugin, hang on. Rain plugin, rain plugin. Off, on. Let's see if that works. Enabled? There's no rain. Just 
<laughs> Which will take him to the infirmary. Preview active, is that it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now there's rain. Um. Oh, that's cool. It has like a top down texture too. Light emission. We can make the rain glow. Okay. Seems pretty cool. Light influence. Speed ratio. Mm, that's fine. Transparent, I guess. Volume. Yeah, that just makes it more spread out. I think that's that's about good. Collision. Transparency threshold. Roofs must be can climb, but it's supposed to be non-transparent. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be like a vibe place. Hmm. So essentially, when you're under a roof, in theory it wouldn't splash on you. Hmm. Oh yeah, rain in the desert's rare. Fair enough, but like, rainy environments have cooler atmospheres. So even though like, yeah, rain's rare in a desert, we can just say that some weird stuff's been going on. Or, or it could just be like, like, um, hmm. Okay, chat. So we've got a couple. We got a couple ideas for what to do about rain, since apparently rain plus desert isn't really that that common of a combo. Um, you can either a not have rain, b change the environment from a desert to like middle of nowhere in a forest or something, and c we could just keep it and not care. So y'all have ideas. Feel free to throw them at me. Yeah, it's gonna be nighttime. Like, it's not gonna be daytime. Bruh. I'm just keeping it daytime for now so it's easier to build. Okay, and I'm gonna turn off preview active so it can actually work a bit better. Um, hmm. Keep it and not care. Seems fine to me. What do y'all think? Space gas station. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. That's too that's too out of this world. I want to build something at least pseudo-realistic here. Um okay. So I wanna try using um like PBR materials. Like so I'm gonna try to get a really good corrugated metal mixture or material. Let's go! Let's see, um, let's do the 1k map since Roblox only allows 1k maps for some reason. Okay, let's extract. Um, does anyone know if Roblox normals use OpenGX or, or OpenGL or DirectX? Like for the materials. Material, material variant, uh, base material, um, metal. All this corrugated metal. All right, now to upload these. So texture, so color, um, metalness. Um, I guess metalness and roughness are this. Is that the same thing? I guess. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That's not. Does this have a metallic map? I guess I'll just use the infinite occlusion map. Um, normal. Let's do normal direct X. Roughness. Where's the roughness map? Is that like a displacement map or something just for textures on the toolbox it's faster hmm 
I'm trying to use like PBR materials here, so. Okay, let's try this. I set you to metal. Corrugated. Okay, not terrible. I want to flip it though. Do this and then swap X and Z. And then make it like not pink. Honestly, that don't look too bad. Let's get like a rim on the edge here. So that's a nun. Set okay. Concrete. No, what about smooth plastic? So I'm gonna resize a line this to make it easier. Oh, resize a line? Hello? Resize a line, broken, no! Oh, that's gonna be painful. Okay. Um. Yeah, good enough. Um. Let's. Give that rim a bit, a bit of depth. And then make it gray. Slightly orange gray though. Keep up with the warm environments that we're going for here. Right. That there. Duplicate. 90 degrees. Resize the line still isn't working. Let's do this. Yeah, that looks lined up. Blaze, can you tell me if you can actually get like full PBR material variants off of the toolbox? I don't know if you can. Uh, in fact, Dev, hello, welcome to the chat. Um, what's the game? Um, I mainly think this is gonna be like a, like one of those vibe games where basically you just hang out with friends and chill for a bit. And it's going to be at a gas station and coffee shop restaurant thing in the middle of nowhere. So if you've ever heard of gas station simulator, think of that, but instead of actually running the gas station, you like just chill in it. And obviously this can be like an office space if you want to like, I guess role play as an employee, but there's not going to be much like managing wise. Okay, so now I'm going to add the, um, neon bit. I love the summon handles feature. Like if you hold down tab, you can bring the handles anywhere you want that make uh, building easier. Okay, so I'm gonna start by making it um just take the entire space, right? Now I'm gonna set this back to point one. Give it a bit of depth. Now I can start with the neon texture thing. If I set this to neon. I want to make it too bright, but... Search PBR in the toolbox to find them. Could it be in textures or images or... I search PBR models. Oh, that's cool. I may have to use some of these. We'll see. Okay, so now we can stack these um neon structure things to give the light some like cool atmosphere, I guess. So set that. Duplicate it three times. 
And now we can set the, set the colors. Welcome back, Atomic. Good to see you. And then this would be like a reddish pastel. Although I want it to actually glow a bit more, so I'll increase the saturation. I'll adjust the color correction and whatnot um, once the like once we get to like the lighting adjustment phase. For now, that should be good. Oh, and uh, in the reference image, there's actually a fourth neon part, got like a blue color. So something kind of like this. Although I'm not biggest fan of that. I think it's not neon, it's just like part of the building. So I can just... Make it set in the 90s, that'd be funny. Um, I would, but like, I don't exactly know what the 90s were like. I mean, yeah, like, I can see whatnot, it's just a one-day project, but, like, mm, still doesn't feel right. Okay, I'm just gonna duplicate the rim. Now, in the reference image, like, Flattens out at the top, and then like, um... I don't like using collisions when building. Building that it allows you to nudge parts. Yeah, Blaze, I saw that when you uploaded it to your YouTube channel. Seems pretty interesting. Uh, if you could DM me a link to it, I'll probably install it. Don't limit yourself too much on the theme, otherwise it becomes near impossible to expand. Hmm. Noted. Actually, no, I'm going to duplicate that first so that I just have like a fill part so I can span it upward. Oh my god, it's not perfect. Resize the line, please work. Please. <laughs> I've got to restart it. Uh, Resize the line. Off. On. I do work now. No. Oh god. Please. Okay, maybe updating it'll work. Uh, screen distortion rain. That's the one by um, Boat Bomber or something, right? I think I've seen that before because like Outlaster uses it. Um, uh, it's not perfect. Ah. Um. Oh god, the joys of building on a grid. Okay. 0.538? What kind of size is that? I don't know how I managed to get that size increment. But, sure, whatever. Good enough. And then I can, um... This now, um, it uses like wedges to like kind of expand the rim out a little bit. So, I'm going to try doing that. Which part? Hey, the hypotenuse is already in the right direction. Makes my life easier. Um, Resource Studio is not working right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. I'm fine without it for now, though. Oh, working. Okay, why is this playing Christmas music? Hello? I, I thought I set this on loop. Hang on. I'm playing Stream Beats by Harris Heller so that, um, 
mainly so that like I don't get um like I guess screen snipe by DMCA. Forgot the word for a oh, copyright strike. Yeah, that's the word. God, extreme snipe by a by a friggin' law. Uh, anyways, um, it's just that's gonna be an issue. So I could just do this and then just until it's good. Okay, I'm gonna restart studio to try and fix resize align or resize line. Uh chat, hang tight, it'll be like probably 30 seconds. Okay, cool. We're back. Um, okay, let's see if resize the line works now. It does not. It it it, it doesn't. Yeah, fill doesn't work either. What else up with that? Oh my god! All of these have can collide false. I just realized that. Wait, we're already an hour in? Oh crap, I gotta speed this up. Oh my god, none of this is anchored either. Um, I have to anchor everything. Anchor. Can collide on, can touch on. It's only the layout parts that I don't want to collide. It's these. Okay. How the hell are we gonna get this to work? What is these sides on that hypotenuse? 0.5 studs. Forty-two point oh three seven. part and it's misaligned get that by 90 just like that okay wrong no no that's the right axis one five and then I put these perfect now which part should be good Yep, okay. That's the power of using precision grids. You can just do stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Now let's get the corner wedges in installed. Um, ah, great. The axis. Why is this being weird? Okay, um... 
just like do this, please. Okay, yeah, that works. Corner wedge part. Now I gotta just do this and swap the Z and Y axes. Corner, yay. Okay. Now it is a matter of replacing things. Such. Now, what is the length of this part? 125 at 0.5. These over here. And then rotate by 180. Oh, that's just off. I gotta move my camera down so y'all can see me better when I'm hunched over. <laughs> okay. Pretty good so far? Yeah, I sure hope so. Um... Yeah, Roblox models can be absolutely huge if you don't pay attention to the scaling. I think that's good. Although I do want to give these a bit more texture than just smooth plastic. So, just making sure I have everything selected. Nope. Just gonna just make sure I didn't accidentally miss anything. Corner wedges. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I group this just so I have easier access to um. So now what kind of texture should we put on here? Metal texture, but like a lighter metal. Have to be less reflective though. Mm -hmm. Opera to pop auto pop out stream similar to YouTube. Um. If you switch to another tab, a, like a picture in picture window appears, I think. Not 100% sure. I'm gonna find a good PBR like metal texture. See what happens when we make this material. Oh, you have to pop out the stream yourself. Oh, okay. I go metal and polished metal. Yeah, it has a little bit of texture. And you can see the chips and stuff in it. Pretty okay. Make it lighter though. Wow. 
I need to flip this again. Such, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna put something on top of here. I'll do that eventually, maybe like solar panels. Um, okay, now let's get the poles made. So I'll, I'll start with like one in the middle and then we can scale from there. maybe hmm. you can always rely on median stone gray that is a fact a little bit of light I think what I'll do is I'll um, split this in two and leave a gap in the middle a very, very small gap. Hmm. Probably that big, and then fill the middle with a different part. Just to give it some depth. Make it a bit more, like, visually interesting. I can even, like, darken that color slightly. If I saturate it. So this is where the pumps are going to be, right? So... I'm going to quickly make like a thing at the top here. This won't be concrete, it'll be metal. I want to add like a, a mounting bracket, I guess, is the word I want to use. Metal. I'm going to darken it up a little bit to make it match a bit more closely to the um, corrugated metal on top of it. That seems even. Mm. to make this as thin as possible without z-clipping. That works. And then I can like make it thicker slightly. Although this should have more detail. Let's go! Thanks, STM. Um, let's see. Yeah, do that to give it a bit more depth. Turn my camera light off. See how that looks? Yeah, not bad. Um, the pumps will be like back to back on here. So I'll probably do more like this. It looks like an L shape, and then there's two pumps back to back here. That's screws. Oh, good idea. Well, yes, STM. I know that it looks like very weird right now, but do keep in mind that this entire thing will have more than one pull in the end. So just just chill. Wrong axis. There. Like crust in my eyes or something. Now, okay. 
I'm gonna detail this bottom a bit better. I'm gonna add the um, axis axis. Make that five studs. Make my life a little easier. This five studs. Cylinder. Yeah, the axis is wrong. Now we can cylinder. I'm gonna have to union this in order to get the texture to work, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, and now what we do is bring this to here. A cylinder that's again wrong access. So, wait, two, five, just to add some rounded corners. So now, should be able to union this and small base to the pillar. Yeah, just something like this to uh, give it that sense of structure. And uh it's slightly darker. Same thing on top. Desaturate this middle bit here. Yeah, that looks cool. Mm. Mm. Alright, we've got about 14 and a half hours left to finish this. Sounds like a lot, it really isn't. thing let's add a light in between the pillars to you know provide light um, use this but so we can move I'll just remove the screws neon Make it like a slightly old, old light. Now, um, there's really neat like vignette effect on like tile lights that I'd like to have. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can replicate that. Let's see which direction's front. Okay, so this is the bottom side I'm working on. Surface GUI, frame, bottom. Influence, yeah, one's fine. Um, now, we go here and then size one zero one zero. We can do is add a UI radi gradient, make this completely black, and then make this transparency like so. Yeah, that's the effect I'm looking for. Basically, it has this like edge. And now you can. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice is getting raspy. Um, that repeat like such. Now you have this edge around your um thing. Now the only thing is that it doesn't right up there. That can be solved by just having an edge around here. Oh, uh, just do that real quick. And 
I can uh, heal this up slightly more. Oop, that's not slightly more. Um, yeah, there we go. Now if I turn off my camera light, I can add a surface light to the bottom. The light slightly cooler. Oh, now we have a light here. And we can just stack these. So I do like maybe 10 studs off in this direction. And off in here, you can delete this middle one. And now you can just spam these. Let's say like 30 studs. So now you have some lights up illuminate the bottom of here. And just as a test, I set this to nighttime. This doesn't feel like nighttime. That's better. I'm gonna set it to future lighting as well. I want this to look very pretty. That's here. Yeah, yeah, I should. Uh, okay, now let's add some effects. So, color correction. Oh, it already has effects in here. Turn off that. Sunrays, sure. Bloom, sure. And tint the entire game. Lightly orange. Increase that warm effect even more. Oh, atmosphere's an object? Huh? Oh, this. Okay. Um. Is. I can work with that. Um, I mean, this is the haze color, or this is the haze color. That's the haze color. Glare. And I'll go ahead and add a fog. So fog again is in camera. Where is it? Just lighting. Where is, where's the fog settings? Fog is gone? Oh. Hmm. City. Oh. Well, that's the effect I wanted anyways. Maybe not that strong. Offset? Glare. Field would be cool, but it, I think it would also take away from the gameplay. Okay, I need 
need to pull up light editor so I can edit these lights. The angle should be okay. No, maybe not the angle, but the brightness? No. Let's go! Okay, yeah, if we increase the range to 27 on each of these. That should illuminate the place better. I could probably have depth of field as like a setting option now. Setting option. It's just an option. Um. Okay. So now, what if I here? Hmm. Illuminates it better, but gets rid of some of the atmosphere. I'll go with the sparseness. Gas station at night. Yeah, fair enough. Message got censored. What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Why would you actively try to get censored? Okay, so, um, have that. Still feels too bright. Outdoor ambient. Maybe just ambient. That's more like it. Okay, but just for building's sake, I'm gonna set this to 12 so I can build. Wow, that looks weird. Okay, never mind. Um, so I'm just gonna be using my camera light to build. Um, okay, so. Now I have to actually like make a gas pump. Oh. Yes. Um. Hmm. I think I've got a decent reference image. Hmm. Okay, let's get this started. Let's just have a dummy here for scaling purposes. metal oh that I can't exactly make it if I set polished metal can it go lighter mm. and it's weird. I wish I could make lighter metals yeah, yeah I know you can stretch unions now it's part of the beta channel that I signed up for it's pretty cool um, need like a light metal GB3 is epic. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I guess that's what you would call it. Now. Have that. Actually, this would be easier to make in Blender, I think. And then we just texture it in Studio. 
14 hours remaining. Yeah, yeah. I got. I actually have to get started on the uh, building sometime soon. Okay. Let's switch the window capture over to Blender. Okay. Let's model ourselves a gas pump. So this will be the base. Um, this is actually inset a little bit. And then moved in slightly. No, extruded in slightly and then scale like an edge. Station sushi, you die. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it seems accurate, but like, I'm not sure what I if I'd want to like add that. Okay, so we have this. We extrude up. Actually. Probably scale these in a little more so it's a bit more compact. Let's keep in mind these are meant to be going like back to back, right? So probably move these forward a little. Okay, now we can get started on the actual like um, portion of it. Let me quickly just apply all transforms. Okay, so we have this. I can add a loop cut up here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um Hmm. Now what we can do is actually add another two loop cuts here. And then move this face back a little. Let's get up a little bit. I can actually extrude this out a little. Oh, there's kind of like a ledge here. We can put some text on eventually. None of this is like glitch geo, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Um, just do that. Um, okay, no, not that one. It's, no. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use the mirror tool. Only better long run, long term. Okay, mirror modifier, y axis, clipping. There. I don't gotta worry about that. Um, now that edge is implemented, I can. Let's go down a little. Touch. Great, these exist. Okay. Um, okay, good enough. Um, Christmas in June by AJR. I'd get DMCA'd if I play anything that isn't by Harris Heller. So, um, sorry about that. And now this edge is inset back in the reference. Uh, this corner is going to annoy me. Okay, 
No, I need to redo this entire top half. I'm wasting a lot of time here, but it needs to be done. You know, just these edges. Oh, hydrate. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did redeem that. Um... Okay, um... Okay, hopefully this doesn't make me have a heart attack, but... Um... I have another book with coffee here. I'll count this as my hydrate. Hydrated. Um, what's happening with these windows? Stupid docks. Let me close this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to pull up Stream Manager so I can mark that as complete. Just hang tight. Uh, select complete all. Sure. Okay, that's done. Okay, cool. Hmm. Now I need this to be like. No. Oh, I can't really do that. She, wait, instead of insetting it, I can just add two loot cuts. And then another loot cut here. And then I can just use this face. Okay. I provide the beveled edge. Get my reference image back up. Maybe not that inset. Now if I set my 3D cursor here, I can add another cube. This will be the um like title label, I guess. back to create the uh, edge effect there. I can just scoot this face back. But just just kind of create an angled edge. Perfect. Now to add the um price screen I guess. Oh, that's cool, Atomic. What's it called? Retro Studio. Oh, I think I've heard of that before. 
I meant to re recreate like old studio though. Seems pretty neat. Okay, can I rotate on normal or move on normals? There we go. So now what I can do is extrude that in. And this will be our screen. Yeah, that's good. And I can separate this. Screw it to give it a little depth so Studio doesn't break when I try to do it. Um, I can probably just dissolve these edges. Yeah, there we go. Same with these two. Okay, cool. Now oh, it's just a cube. Wonderful. Okay, next objective is to make this a little bit more detailed. What is this? Fading air. They seem simple enough to fix. I just have to move this entire stack up. Well, it's back to global, and I don't want you selected. Hmm. Oh, these are two separate vertices, that's why. Okay. Merge at center. Same here, merge at center. And then I can just do mesh, clean up, merge by distance, I remove nothing. Cool. Uh, I'm already wasting time. Okay. All right. No BS, let's get the side pop done. Right on the right, so let's apply that mirror modifier. Over here, Q. Get the base for it, the nozzle. Something like that. Now let's actually make the gas pump. So I have a decent reference image, I think. This should work. Isolate this, scale it down, turn this into a gas pump. So if I save image as gas pump, Yes. Um, uh, PNG. I can come into here, image reference, um, downloads gas pump PNG. Oh, it's transparent. Wonderful. Um, and I can make it even more transparent and then move it closer to my camera. It's, okay, let's get to work. Yeah, that's just gonna make it so that um everything stays mirrored.
Yeah, this part of the stream isn't the most exciting, I know. Me modeling stuff. Get his face. And now it's all even again. Um, That's better. Mm -hmm. You can do this, merge those. And I can start doing this. Uh, here. And a bit more geometry there. these vertices. Now we can make a base out of here. That shouldn't be. And there should all these. Mesh, normals, recalculate outside. Let's continue uh, meshing this. Okay, and the rest of this can just be filled however. Thanks for the follow. Super appreciated, man. Okay. Just press F there. That creates like a giant end gone. I think you'll, but I mean, it works, I guess. It just. Makes Let's sense. go. This edge here is slightly inset. Uh, go ahead and shade smooth, auto smooth. Oh, uh, that ain't the best. Hmm. this here. That's a tough thing. Let's set this to 45. Hmm. Level this edge maybe? Yo. Hello. Per day and upload. Okay, I get your <laughs> Okay, um, all right. Um, my chat window's being weird. I'm gonna see if I can rearrange my OBS real quick. Oh, you recorded my game. Oh, thanks. Pretty, pretty neat. Even though that game is not the greatest in my opinion, I still appreciate that you took your time and went out to do that. Uh, 
okay, let's not do that. Just these top edges. Now let's adjust. Come on. Oh, I forgot to turn X-ray back on. That explains it. This gas pump, I'm, I don't really care that much about like how how high quality or whatever it is. It's it's a gas pump. It doesn't have to be high quality. Good enough. Now I need to do the handle. So let's another cube. Get the mirror modifier. Next clipping. The clipping's on for this one. handle and be like subdivision surface yeah I am like the only person to ever use blender that doesn't like subdiv surface on most things it it feels weird when done incorrectly and I can't seem to get it right flatten it later. Mm. And like this, and then scale it. Get a bit of a curve. Level this edge. Level this edge. We can build this part of the handle here. So I put this 3D cursor right here. Use the spin tool. Oh, that's too many segments. That'll do. I can come over to here. Just drop that in there. And this entire section would be slightly smaller, so I grab all of this and separate it and scale it in like so. Because that's like the trigger guard. Then I can just fill that. Shade smooth, auto smooth. Shade smooth, auto smooth. 45. Oh, that's the actual like lever, okay. Um, Uh, 
Okay, let's do... Hang on, select these vertices we got here. Mesh cube, shrink, actually, make that a cylinder. Cylinder, 16 vertices. Such. Scale it out. And then just bevel this. Trade smooth, auto smooth. Alright, cool. Back down a little. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks cool, so we're going with it. Really did select this entirely. Hang on. I'm gonna give this a bit more of a spine, I guess. It's time we actually make the nozzle, so let's start with a circle. 16 verts. Scale it down. Rotate. Let's go into this view before we start any of that. at the 3D cursor about here. I'll see if I can use this, the spin tool. May move this lower. Yeah, that's pretty close. Let me up the amount of steps. Now I can just that. Let's set this. This will be our nozzle. The center. I think that works. Oh, this is the, I just realized, this is the uh, cable connection or the gas pipe connection. Okay, so let's parent this all to this. Now we have our gas pump. Mount it like this. Oop, gotta clear that rotation. And we gotta make like a holder for it. So let's see. This and then Maybe.
How can I make a mount for this? I'm trying to think of like like physically what would the mechanism be to hold it. First off, let me mirror this. Down the middle. Uh, three. No, not edges, vertices. Mirror modifier, x axis clipping. And we can add like a too bad either. Now let's bevel the rest of these edges. A bit more of a refined look. Clear parent. Alt P, keep your information. Now we can drag this down here. And on the tip of this, let's make a new path. Start off by deleting all these vertices. Now, no, it needs to be a busy acre. So this has two control points on it. First off. 
Hit it like such. And start positioning it. And here. And here. I can rotate. Drag these points out. Now the cool thing is we can turn this Bezier path into a mesh. Down here. This. Get the look all nice and good. That's interlocked. Boom! Gas pump! Yeah! Now it's time to just do some detailing. Ah, that won't look good. Hmm. Okay, so... It's our nozzle main. This will be like a reddish color. I'm up here. Image a new tab. <laughs> We're coloring all this at studio, by the way. I, I I don't feel like texturing right now. Nice little pipe. Nice little trigger. Nice little base. Actually, I could probably merge these. Yeah. Oop. Hang on. I knew something was sketchy there. Push that so that it merges. Perfect. All right. Probably bevel this too. Uh, type A. Me. Oh, he keep transform. Control J. All these type attachments. Now we can convert to mesh and rename this to type. So this is the main body. But I want to split this. Some of the faces are recolorable in studio. Anything highlighted right now? So. Let's call this color panel. It'll be colored. Um, Now we can separate these, all this um, light, since it'll be light. Separate this. This will be the um, title label and title frame. This is the base. Nozzle folder, green, and now everything's named, and we can export this. Pretty neat little gas pump. Hello. 
I apply all transforms. Okay, set origin to geometry. What rotation do I need to rotate this to? Five point three. Okay, I'll just copy that. Basically, I want this flat so I can design the GUI on it and then like get it back. Okay, let's save this. Gas pump. Like doll. Export. FBX. Good objects. No point. Scale. Let's pump FBX. Back to studio we go. Boop. All right, let's get this gas pump in here. Mesh importer. The objects. Gas pump. Anchored, import, <laughs> oh that sucks Mocha, mm. all right, gas pump, woo, now rotate this on the Y axis, Z axis by negative that. Okay. Should be seamless. Yeah, that seems seamless. Okay. So now it's time to color. So let's go for metal. It's a relatively light metal. Nozzle holder can be slightly darker. This and this needs to be double sided. No other faces appear to be inverted, which is good. This is time. Um, now, for this, I want it to be this color here. And then smooth plastic. Now for this, go to smooth plastic. And same for the title frame. Smooth plastic. Title. We'll go neon. And have like a black. And for the screen. I know that white color seems a little out of line. What if I make it this color here? Make these the same color. Oh, and title frame. Make all of these a whitish color, light tint. Not that much tint. Now we can get to GUI design. Text label. 
that's on the left. Okay. Good influence zero. So background transparency. Just the usual. Next scale. Let's get a good bot for this. This brightness a bit less. Now, what kind of screen do we put on here? What are some common gasoline numbers? Like, I know there's like 90 or 83 or whatnot, but like, what are the common numbers for that? Anyone know? Anyone here know their gasoline? Okay, so 87, 89, and 93. Uh, yeah, 87, 80, 97, 86, 83, 90. Um, I googled it, and I'm seeing 87, 89, and 93. 97 doesn't exist. Premium fuel goes up to 94. So, I'll go with 87. And... Show up, go get shop. Guy, I am afraid I don't know what you are saying. <laughs> er, my sky. Seven, nine. Let's just go ninety. Let's go ninety two for good measure. What are these? I take all of these and reduce their Y position a little.
My friends, this is the power of using the uh, command bar to do adjustments. Since you could just write a command to quickly edit the position, make your life easier. Diesel. Oh. I'll have like a couple pumps dedicated to diesel, or should we have all of them have just like a different bit of diesel? Again with this music, why is it why is why is it going to the Christmas album? I thought this was on loop specifically for this. Just, just this album. Okay. Um, gasoline pump should be separate from diesel. Yeah, fair enough. Um. I don't know what I'm adding here. I just need something to fill the space. STM, I would rather not get TOS. Oh, another hydrate? Bet. Hmm. Let me mark that as completed. Oh, I should have the uh, title frame be here. So people know the pump number. Okay, I think that looks good. Now let's make sure collisions are on and it's all anchored. Actually, only this box needs collision. Nothing else needs collision. For this. Building, we do box. 
Although, maybe this. We never colored this. Last second, I'm gonna make this slightly more yellow. Red, actually? Sure. Smooth plastic makes this like a darker color. I still have my camera light. I do. Okay. What's this look like without it? Not bad. Uh, the full map. Um, gas station area. Restaurant. Gas station. Interior. Office. Now it is time to get duplicating. Seems relatively even. These out a little more so you can actually reach the nozzles. These a bit closer together. If I pull up my reference image. If the actual gas is connected underneath, so I don't need to make any pipes or anything like that. Really convenient. Now, duplicate all these. Yo, hello, watermelon. Into the stream. Okay, let me just up the brightness a bit so I can see. Yo! Hang on, I gotta pull up the activity feed. Thanks for the follow, watermelon. Super appreciated. Or watermelon. <laughs> it's fun to say. Um. Spread these out a bit more. But you know, I'll keep it in line with the um, rest of the uh, 30 stud grid I've got going here. Yeah. Hey, Dre. Sure. Ah. We marked that as complete for you, real quick. There. All right, so we have the actual gas station part practically done. Oh, right. I should actually get oh, a cup of water. Um, think tight, chat. I will be back. I will fulfill your promise, water or your reward, watermelon. I'm sorry, I just had a. It's a coke with coffee. I'm tr still trying to wake up. I will be back. With water, like actual water. Okay, hang tight, chat. Hey, I'm back, and this is water. 
This is very clearly water. Here's an actual hydrate, and I'll like drink a lot to make up for the drinks. There. Hydrated. Sorry about that. Let's get back to work. So now that we have this part basically done, um, let's go ahead and start work on the actual gas station building itself. So, hmm. The question is, how do I want to build this? I suppose I can keep using that same reference image I have. Um, okay, let's try that. Oh. Start by taking this. I'm gonna make a new folder for it in a second. I'm just gonna. Station outside. A new folder. Yes. Okay. Building. Now we have our building. It's time to, well, get building. So I'll delete the other layout part for this. Make sure this is anchored and has collision. Cool. Let's turn on the camera light. You can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna start with the base. So it'll be like a concrete, just for like the foundation. Keep in mind that this building is going to be attached to like a coffee store and the back office. So let's try and make it um, reasonably sized. Gym's going on for almost three hours. Well, we still have like 13 plus hours left to go, right? I am going to finish this game, this stream. That is a promise. Promise to myself at least. Okay, now we gotta build this gas station. Hmm. Another hydrate? I'm currently just looking for references right now, so I have an idea about what I should be building. We are number one on studio streams, let's go! <laughs> We're number one, baby! Uh, okay... Man, this is... It's actually hard to find good, like, reference images for gas station buildings. <laughs> okay, this one's a stock image, but I, I think it should work. So, let's take a... Uh, we'll start with a, with a single wall and... Or actually, let's start with a floor. Um, 
This will be the floor. Now to get a wall. Well, let's bring our scale dummy back over. We can get a sense for what this wall should be. Well, yeah, fair enough, Atomic, but I'm bored and this isn't really a relevant project to any of my groups, so I thought I might as well stream it. Now let's get a uh, orange-ish view for the bottom. I'm actually going to follow this same like pattern up here, so... We'll have the uh, darker red and then a white. And then I can put like an actually white color here for the rest of the wall. station still feels huge. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a while now. I'm gonna have to make doors. Keep modeling doors. So most of- oh, uh, Space Kitchen. Hello, uh, hi, what kind of game do you create? I am, uh, primarily a sci-fi dev, but I am taking a break from that to create a gas station, like, vibe game, I guess. Um, this is a one-day challenge, where I Let's build this go. entire project in one day. So, yeah. Um, it should be glass. Like, it should be like a glass front window. Let me Go ahead and get like a frame set out for that. So the corners will still be like. Um, I have Atmos, but I think this default skybox seems good enough. Stars and the moon and whatnot. So, have this. Let's get a uh, block out part for the main entrance. This will be our door. Maybe just like a double sliding door. I have to script that. Hmm. Probably extend this curb part out a little bit. On this side. Let's make a frame for the window. light back on so I can actually see. Is that good, right? Yeah, okay. So here's this, point six two five. Yeah, good enough. Basically, having a frame on the window makes it look better. Which is why I'm doing it. Plus, it allows me to add more colors. Make this like a darker color. This metal, maybe? Later, then. Back. You can 
make a spring for the door. Now we can add more of these pillars. Then I, um, we can extend this out. I resize the line working. It is. No, wait, no. That's that's gap fell. This is resize line. Okay. Yeah, it works again. It'll make my life so much easier. Have this. Now we can like um, basically just add a parallel to it. Such. Quickly put resize align back into my toolbar. Um, you want to make a game, what should you make it about? Okay, um, so just before I give you my advice, do know that, like, when you start out in Roblox Studio, your first game will never be, like, great. It won't be, like, uh, front page worthy or anything like that. But a, a good first game is something that it's simple. It's, like, um, there's not really much depth to it. But it's enough for you to get to know the program. I personally suggest an obby, like Atomic Stead. Um, just a simple obby where you can um, learn how the humanoid system works, which is basically how Roblox takes care of players. Um, you can learn uh, like how to manage their health through scripts, like a really basic script where if you touch a part, it kills you, like most obby tab. Or if you want to get more advanced with an obby, you could do data stores to store like uh, what stage someone left off on. Um, no matter what, I mean, you can make any game you want on Roblox, that's the beauty of it, but I highly recommend starting off with something pretty simple in order to, like, ease yourself into the software. Because Roblox Studio is really complex, like, surprisingly complex. And it can be quite overwhelming at times. Any bit of experience but i want to do something kind of complex well if you really want to then by all means um try making what you want to make i mean i can't really make that decision for you so do what you want to make i mean it's all up to you my guy or girl or they i don't know um either way I need to get these windows in. Ninja. No. No, no. What, why would you even suggest that? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, the windows are in, but they need to be a little thicker. Point four eight, no point four five. Yeah, that'll do. That way the windows aren't in the entire frames in size, but they're um they're pretty big. Okay, so windows are in. Yep. So door will be here, so I can go ahead and um. Actually, if I just remember these colors, just delete these and these 
these ones can be stretched out to the floor. Grab this. This. And this. We have our uh, stripe design, we got the windows, the door will be here. And move these back so the frame can go all the way to the floor. Just like such. I want this to be like semi modern. Not like completely modern, but like just uh, old enough to give like a nostalgia vibe. It's an ad break. Interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves a door. So, first off, I'll this for the sensor, and we're going to, need to actually get the door built. So. I have not made a single script yet because I am working on building. When you're in a project like this, build before scripting. Hey, you need sleep? Oh, oh need help. Um, God, I thought I said sleep. Maybe I do need sleep. Um, I, I would, but like the whole point of this project is that it's a solo project because I'm trying to like test myself in a way. I appreciate the offer, but um, I won't be taking it. Let's get ourselves a door. That's not clipping, that's clipping, there we go. Three hours in, okay. Got 13 hours, I think, 12, 13 hours. Yeah, 12 hours remaining, okay. Ooh, boy. I'm just hoping I finish. Like, that's, that, that's the goal for this, I just wanna finish. Alignment isn't good. Um, to the door so just raise this up a little bit i'm gonna make like a double swinging door that just opens when you get close enough actually that's too big for a swinging door i'll just split it off 
this, I think. It should do. I need to check something real quick. Three point three four one. The duplicate drag. Scale down. Be even. shouldn't be scaled down all the way. Okay, and this needs to be split in two. So we have this door that can swing, and the other door, or actually, no, no, this should be a sliding door. for the doors will be darker than actually no. slightly darker. Okay, let's group the doors. Let's make this. Let's make these and thicker. And then like bring them up. Among us? What do you mean among us? I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, these should be glass. Hello, I chill. Uh, welcome to the stream. I can't see the stream. Um, I think that's an issue on your end. But yeah, hi, welcome to the stream. Okay. Got a McAfee ad. All it does is put adware on your PC. I mean, I use a vast, so um, hopefully it's not that bad. Okay, so let's group the doors together so I know what I'm working with. Five, the group. Here. Yep. Now, oh, I already grouped this, didn't I? So we have our door one and door two. So how far do we want these to open? Seems about right. Or actually, let's inset these into the walls so that they can slide completely out of the way. That's how the doors are in real life, too. Now I can just stretch that. And stretch this. 
maybe move these a little closer. Yeah, just like that. So now these can open all the way to here. Oh, hopefully without clipping. They are still clipping. Come on now. Eh, good enough. Um, via script. I am much better at tweening things than using animation controllers. Plus, you'd have to script the animation anyways. So, this makes life easier. Okay, so we have our door two and door one. Let's go ahead and set primary parts. Now what we can do... Oh, hang on. Arm part. Root. We can duplicate the root. And come up here. I can make a new folder for this called door. Oh, you front door. Just now we can call this one uh, D1C for D1 closed. Uh, make that one can collide false. Everything's anchored as normal. And then duplicate it and move it over here. And D1O for D1 open. Um, we can get I'm currently doing some math to figure out the, me the Okay, so this number here. Now if we take door two. Now we can this is uh D2 B2C. So one of those duplicate, drag to the right, B2O. A lot of people do doors with animations. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it saves them from, uh... I mean, I guess it saves them from the, uh, like, client tweening, like, eventual error that builds up over a long time, but I, but set pivot already fixes that, so I think it's good. Okay, so now we have our door positions. Hey, stupidly silly. Hi, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Um... Okay, so we have our front door. I don't like how bland this looks. Um, Making sure I got everything. Yep, okay. And make this regular plastic instead. A little texture. Um, what's the idea for the game? Uh, yeah, basically a vibe, vibe game in a gas station with a coffee shop strapped to it. Let's make this darker. No. I want this to have more texture, I just don't know how. We're calling since 2020, that's pretty cool. Um, appreciate the support. Now, what if I make this corrugated metal? Ah, uh, that don't look good. Um... Give it like a, like a wood plank texture, maybe. Have the bottom be like a concrete. 
I go here. Cobblestone. Darken that up. Well, I hit this cobblestone too, and that wouldn't exactly work well. So, no cobblestone. Um, no concrete. That works. Material concrete. Oh, yeah. Instantly more texture. And I said, on what game you're going to make? Well, what are you going to make? Can you be rapping, Sim? <sighs> well, I'm not gonna stop you if you actually want to make that, but... Hmm. Anyone else make a game with no plans at all? I usually like to plan my games out. It just helps me when it comes to, um... Actually making the project. Okay. I'm gonna add some like neon stripes up here. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Just put this together. Mm. Have our neon strip. Actually, nah, that don't look that good. Just making sure, yeah, this is still a thing. Um, I need to actually make a uh, hitbox for this real quick. So, I convert you to a model. I can add a uh, part. Um, actually, before that, put this origin position. Duplicate this. Right there. And this will just be the hitbox for anyone to open the door. Other zone. And this zone is can collide falls. Can touch on. Um, anchor true. Yep, okay. Yeah, I know it's a. Is that actually like a cloud font link? I wouldn't suggest just posting random links in chat. I'm going to be using Zone Plus. Um, it's much better to work with. It's like an awning. I go here, I can... Here. Let's go! That, that scared me. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, let's go here. Make like a small awning. Maybe make it out of the corrugated metal. Red. Oh, gotta restart my headset real quick. I 
make this like baby knife. Ah, purple plastic box salt. Should have known someone would have done that eventually. Planks. These look like bricks, not wooden planks. Probably just because of the color. Um, oh, concrete, and then I can put a texture on it. Be a, like a wood tile. Um, this, yeah, like a decking. Your opinion on the live animation creator. I think it's really cool. Um, it's the fact that you're able to like uh, make an animation out of basically nothing except a video. I, I find that really cool. What happened if I did that here? Ooh, I like the texture that that has. Yeah, that actually does give a really nice texture. Okay, cool. What's that? My animations aren't perfect. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it'll ever be perfect. Okay. Now we should make like a sign up top. Here. I'm going to design a logo for this eventually. Okay, but before we continue, I need to make the um, walls actually go around the building. So let's just do this. Line that up. So now that we have this, we can just pull up F3X and scale them all at once to create our walls. So actually, I'm going to just put those manually. Now I can just use this. That's about here. We get the floor for the uh, office in. Actually, I can just convert this to that part. Oh. Boom. Concrete, can collide on, then move this to building. Okay, chat, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, we are back. And, and we are still on the clock for making this game. So well, let's get back to it. I don't know what those textures are doing right now, but I don't like it. Just because of the way it's, it is. Um, So, get back to where we were on this. On F3X. Textures at the bottom of the walls. Ooh, sounds interesting. Okay, and I'll hold off on extending the wall this way for now, since I have plans for that. Three and a half hours in. Okay. He keeps black screening for what it's should I add, should I add a, add a point system or score so you can track the level? Um, if you feel like it'll improve the gameplay, go for it. If you want to save the data between games, uh, then yeah, what Atomic said, you'd want to be using a data source service. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do for this office. This is going to be like the back room, not literally the back rooms, but like the back room of the off of the gas station. Hmm. Okay, so what I could do here is um like a restroom area too so we'll have this be a hallway like so and then um wait the wall should be like a different material on the inside shouldn't they yeah they should be So I have like a hallway here, right? Um, on one side of the hallway, we'd have that's a lineup. We have the actual office room. So this will be the um, office room, and then there will be like two bathrooms, like right here. I am now going to get to removing the um, interior texture on all these so that the inside is looks different from the outside.
I'm just making sure the outside is unaffected. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Now remember, the coffee shop is going to be like attached to it here. Oh. Hmm. It's about even. And then... We'll have there be like a door here. Actually, I'll just make it like um This and then have a... Uh, thing at the top here. I'm just talking to myself a lot mainly. So, I don't mind if you find the stream boring. I mean, I'm just making a game, not too interesting. Um, okay, flooring. What floor tile could we have? Does it work well? Hello, the boy who didn't. Good to see you in chat. Think about what tile I could use. This could work. I make the file size a little bigger. That, that totally works. Let me grab this dummy over here like so I can drag this down a little. Not exactly sure what like the interior should look like. We'll have the cashier stand over here first. We need to build some interior walls. concrete in here. I do want to add more like interest to the shape of the the building though, so okay, 
Well, let's get a roof on first. A very basic roof. because I'm going to put like neon strips on it. Seems about right. Set up on this side. I'm going to keep it even with this for now. That. And like that. Now we can recolor these. It's a bit darker. Make it concrete. So now what we can do we can go up here. Pass this whole thing down ever so slightly. Not ever so slightly. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this manually. Um, we have this. Make sure that lines up. Alright, now for this. This is about right. some neon going. Yo, thanks for the bits. Super appreciated. concrete above it. Like such. Now oh, the gas station has like a nice like light around it. Boom seems a little strong. want it to be like hazy though so big bloom size helps with that we need some lights out here um and like What lighting should we have to light up the front of the store? Actually, before that, I'm going to do the um, same thing I did with the top of the, uh, like, this over here where it has this kind of shape. that same style. So let's 
wedges. Ah, sweet, it's already aligned. Do like that. Now we can rotate it 90 degrees along this pivot. Slider into place. Rescale. So you need to uh, duplicate this. Drag that to there. And then drag this back. Seems to work. Now I just need to match that. Rotate it there, and that should hopefully align it. No? Nope, there we go. Yeah, it's just a lot of alignment stuff. I'm not the fastest builder in the world, so uh, if I seem slow at times. Now it is corner wedge time. Mm. Even with my eyes, there's like something in them. Wedge. Alright. Now we just rinse and repeat. Something was up with this. Hmm. What's up with that? I'll just find that. Oh, the joys of solving minuscule imperfections. Um, silent. If you messed up the uh, scripting tutorial, uh, either just try again or try a different tutorial. Sometimes some videos don't teach properly, and it's it's hard to follow them. Doesn't mean you're incapable of scripting, though. Now I can just do this thing now. Up to here maybe, no. Okay. 
Now that roof shape should be good. Wonderful. It, it can be pretty tedious. basic shape of that building down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, connector pillar now. Or the uh, like coffee shop connector. Should work. Okay, and then the coffee shop would go here. Okay. Figure out lighting. How am I gonna light this? Hmm. So I can strap like a light to the sign. surface light. Okay, if that's the front, it'll be bottom. There we go. Oh yeah. That's cool. Angle a bit less. Range is fine. duplicate this light a couple times. That way the entire front of the store is lit up. I just, um... Oh, those are floating. Whoops. Mm. 
Just under 12 hours remaining. Already starting to run out of time. four hours in We've already used a quarter of our time group <laughs> these lights now I can Drag them across the side of the gas station. Hey, gas station is lit. Uh, the light does leak a little inside, but I think that's okay. Not too big of an issue since it's gonna be lit in here anyways. Oh. I wish you could start it on the interior. Some ceiling trim. Actually, we should just have a different ceiling in here. Well, um, it's not, even if you think it's too much, then it could be for you. Just know that with more practice, it gets easier. So if you need to, take a break, but I'd suggest coming back to it. You never know what you can make if you give it enough time. Is there another, like, tile texture in here somewhere? Four hours down. Indeed.
Yeah, that seems okay. No pun intended. Hmm. Waiting for fourth one. Hmm. I mean, the only way you'd know is to actually be there, so, who knows. Now let's get some ceiling trim in. Those textures. It's signs of some ceiling tiles. Like benches out here, for people to sit on. Cool. But I can't get sidetracked. I need to get the interior done. That was a ceiling tile. Ceiling, make it neon, and then probably reduce the bloom a little. I can move these on a uh, 14. Let's go! Alright. Hmm. That's seven out a bit.
Probably reduce the number of lights. Honestly, I think this looks great. I mean, it makes sense for an interior to have this many lights if they don't light that much. Plus, now I can grab this surface light, surface GUI, and apply it to all of these. For all the light parts. Just it into all of them. Now they have that slight edge effect. Then I can. A lot of light parts. I can move them down ever so slightly. Reach the Y size. Yeah, that works. Graph editor, out spreadsheets. Hmm. Uh, which graph editor are you referring to? Like which software? Okay, now, I want to see how much of a flashbang this is if I turn the shadow map. Honestly, not too terrible. Future does look much better, though. A blender. I don't have too much familiarity with the Blender graph editor. But I can't really help you on that one. I need to select all these metallic parts and make them darker since apparently they actually are super light in in the context of all this lighting. I need to fix that.
Okay, so... Now that lighting has been taken care of... Now we need to actually build the interior, so... Some depth. Just add some like. Oh. Hmm. Put the cashier probably about here. Oh. Scale dummy. Trying to keep everything on roughly the same grid, just to help. wall so it looks nicer. Right now we've got our uh, cashier station. to actually like make a register and whatnot. sign up here.
can make this slightly lighter now. Add a surface GUI to it. Right hand side. Thank you for the follow, Arena of Salad. So just go with Oswald for the consistency. this to the wall. Be lit up. Mm. Let's make a break in the wall or be able to put their items on. Uh, I got sent up lights of its own. Not a bad idea. On sign by turning that to zero and then two. That'll probably help. That's just still alive. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be live until I finish this game. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay, let's get building props. 
Four and a half hours in, out of the 16 allotted. Okay. Trying to make a list of things that we need to model. So, item number one. We need shelves. We need shelves so that um, we can put items like chip bags, which we can either model or just steal from the toolbox. Um, we need refrigerators. Um, like those hot dog roller things. A slushy machine. And potentially workable slushies. So. Uh, no, we won't be adding DTX to any of this. I don't plan on making this in the Astral Universe. Please stop suggesting that. Um, uh, Zyron NA, hello. Um, I am planning on making this a uh, gas station vibe game. In a way. It's a challenge I'm doing where I have to make a game in one day. So the idea is that it's a gas station in the middle of nowhere with a gas station and like a coffee shop strapped to it. So that there's like a more chill spot. It's like a warmer atmosphere. And then you got the gas station. Another hydrate. All right. If you insist, Mocha. Right now, I'm currently planning out what props I need to make. Right. Yeah, plays. I know about like C animations. I could try those. Cool. Okay, so shelves, chip bag, refrigerators, hot dogs, slushy machines, working slushies, uh, drinks, like soda cans, um, soda bottles, what else? Uh, we need a cash register. Maybe an ATM? That could work. Instead of the gas SCP creepy vibe? Yeah, that's what happens when you set the walls to concrete and use future lighting. It just gives that vibe. That very creepy SCP-like vibe. I can totally move all of these lights like... Whoop, I did not mean to select all those. Totally move all of these lights like one tile to the left. Except for these ones, these shouldn't have been moved. Yeah, okay, now I can... Those. And resize align them. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from Roblox Studio for a bit and hop back into Blender. Time to model ourselves some, some stuff. Okay, let's get to work. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, hello, Blender? Hello? Blender's not being recognized by my window capture. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. So, on the list of things to make, first up is like shelves. Um, so, shouldn't be too bad to make. Okay, I've found a reference image. So let's get to work. Okay, so. I don't want the dark spots in between the lights. You could just have an invisible surface light block. Yeah, I th although I could just do that, I feel like having the um the lights there, like the empty spots in the lighting helps give like the darker atmosphere, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, let's get a mirror on this. 
So this and then edge edge comes up slightly. How to use Blender? Uh get good. I mean I literally don't know what else to tell you. It's just practice. You gotta learn the software to use it. Okay, so now we have this. We have a sh like the base of the shelf. So now what we can do is actually we can run a double mirror for this. Um, we only have to deal with one quarter of it. Makes our lives even easier. Next, do this. Screw these out like such. And these out like such. So now we have a uh, rim. I'll drag this out. Um, just down a bit to make that a bit easier. So next we need the center spine. I am going to delete this face. Delete this face. And then these out like such and then select all mesh clean up merge by distance and that remove that duplicate perfect okay oh another hydrate okay i'm gonna let some sun in here ah man it's nice to have natural lighting so now that we have this, I'm actually going to make that a bit less protruding. We can extrude this up out here. Touch grass stream when? Never. Um, now we can select this, duplicate it, separate it, bring it up. Now, we bring these up, get a shelf, and then fill these. All mesh, clean up, merge by distance. And I didn't get anything. Make sure. Okay. Right, I need to turn on auto merge. There. I think this is actually like we here actually extrude out like this a little so I can then bevel this slightly that dang it forgot to extrude all of these Yep, yeah, bevel these. Break that down. Nice. I mean, that's pretty basic shelf. Um, I'm just going to delete these and detail this a bit more. Just off this. Face. Okay. Like this and then... That up, get the shelf a bigger base to go off of. This edge can be brought back to mount price tags too. 
And then this can be bubbled. No, that can be bubbled. Hmm. Made something in Blender. Cool. Good work. It is a deformed cube. Well, it's still a creation. Let's apply that mirror modifier and then this duplicate separate BSY. ASX This way we can add like an edge shelf thing What we can do is actually just do this Merge it, no oh, not merge, okay um, Merge it center, merge it center Merge at center, merge at center, and you can get rid of this face and dissolve all of these edges. All right, now you just have a cube. You calculate those normals. And I wish Blender had a resize line, that'd be convenient. Hmm. Okay, so now we can do this. These faces. Oh, it's called snap to face. Oh. I guess I'll have to check that out. Gotta extrude this first. Actually, I'm just gonna extrude this whole thing. Extrude right along the X. That's gonna act weird. Um, all of these complete faces. All <laughs> mesh cleaned up. Worked by distance. That didn't work. Uh, the edge is wonky. Um, that edge. Okay, well I can subdivide that. Divide that. Divide this. No, okay, no, can't connect. Okay. Um. You stop spamming the fards. Oh my god, okay. Um, let's see. Now we can take this, extrude it out even further. Move this whole thing back. 
section and only take the side and extrude that about there. Now what we can do is take this. That apply. Select this. Separate. Eight ninety. And then shrink it down. up a little. And if I set this to a mat cap. Shading errors. I just yeah, problem solved. Um, yeah, there's gonna be Z clipping there. It's gonna be in by the floor, anyways. This, however, will not be hidden, and I need to fix that. Okay. I can just add like a uh, small extrusion up here. And like such. It's over here. <laughs> Another one? Are <laughs> oh, really uh, up to something, huh? Okay, there is now one minute between the far sound effect. Doing it for all the other sound effects too. Okay, that one's already five minutes. Let's go! Yeah, good enough. Okay. So now let's split this by color. So... This we can split. Um, this we can split. That's already split. Um, let's see what else. This could be split. So this, 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 
this can all be joined together. We go to material preview, give this one a new material, and then get darker. And now Yep, that works. There's our shelves. Alright. So that's that done. Next up is ship bag. I think I'll just do the, um... I think I'll just uh, use something from the um, just something from the toolbox for that. Okay. Next on the list, refrigerator. Okay. station fridge. Let's see. So let's call you fridge. You. Okay, fridge time. Go on the road. Cursor. Shells is reference for Eight. Mm -hmm. Broke your shelf privilege. Can't revoke my shelf privilege. I am the shelf. Yes, I, I apparently am now a shell. Model the interior first.
should mirror this. Things that actually be easier to model in studio, like bridge. So I'll do the uh, slushy machines here. You the base. Let's do this. merge on that's not gonna work um, here and the cursor there that Median point, be like a power button kind of thing. Oh. No, I should do that differently. First, add this, and then it sounds really incoherent. It's because it is, and I'm sorry. But um, again, this is all just my process. Set this, put the back, get down to act as like a spill catch. Power button or something. Slightly sloped. I'll try and bevel these edges. I'll just bevel these edges. That. Just for these. All those. Oop. Maybe just these. Yeah, that's better.
guess not. Um, let's go ahead and add the like slushy tank. So let's start with a circle. Actually, now we'll start with a cylinder. Twenty-four vertices is good enough. Shade smooth, auto smooth. Twenty-five. All right, it's ninety. flattened out but relatively flattened out I should uh, mirror this oh, what is this meant to be a slushy machine to geometry. Oop. 3D cursor here. Origin of 3D cursor there. So we can go like this. Level it. Sharp. Probably clear the sharp on that and then nail it. Same with this. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be transparent. Need a thing that's ever so slightly smaller than it. And we can adjust this. Be the actual like splashy. Okay. Gonna do stuff like this to give it more of a natural wave and shape. Now we gotta mount the tank. So Let's go there, make a cube. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Um... It'd be okay. You just extrude that up and um, I need to add a couple loop cuts in order to adjust this. Right. And last but not least, we can level these. Shade smooth, auto smooth. We can add, if I apply this mirror modifier, we can add some kind of like structure to this so we can. Take this, bring it back, loop cut, this extrude up. Bevel this. 
just give it a bit more shape. Hmm. And more five hours than I could do in three days. Well, that's what happens when you're motivated, I guess. Okay, now I need a nozzle. So what I'll do is I'll take this, take the shade, separate. Okay. Um, set origin, 3D cursor. Now I need to make this like nozzle thing. Real clear, sharp. Got a decent image of one. So, actually, a cube I need to start with. Okay, that's good. Like such. Couple of those. Again, shade smooth, shade smooth, auto smooth. So, lever will be attached to that, and then the actual nozzle will be down here. This is where your drink will come out. It's just a matter of making the switch for the lever, I guess. You. Let it fill that face. Hot fires, mirror, X axis clipping. Okay. That actually wants to bevel now. Cool. Another 
carbohydrate, this time from Highwell. Hello, Highwell. Let's slim this down a little. Uh, it's pretty good, Highwell. Thanks for asking. Probably drag these down. Make some small details here and there. Sharp. Mark sharp, mark sharp. Yeah, good enough. I mean, I rotate that. Rotates. We mirror this one more time. Mirror modifier, Y axis, clipping, apply. We rotate this around the 3D cursor. It's bigger. Um, basically, it's gonna be a gas station strapped to like a coffee shop, and it's gonna be like a vibe game. Clamp is on. Mm, no, I won't look at it, it's just extra polys. Okay, I think the slushy machine turned out pretty good. Apply that mirror modifier and just make sure no slushy is going to clip into the um, back of the tank here. What I can do is just those vertices and then fill that. If you can delete bits and then just gain points. I think that should be fine. Now let's split this for coloring. We have button panel nozzle which tank mount base button and then slush. Alright, there's the slushy machine shelves. Hello overdrive. Um welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Um, okay, could you re-say what you're saying? Um, basically, the game is going to be a gas station slapped, like, connected to a, uh, like, a, like a coffee shop, and it'll be, like, one of those vibe games. Uh, how do you get Chrome RGB? Oh, you mean this? Um, in Blender, um, you go up to here, make sure you're in solid rendering, then you click on the arrow, click on Matte Cap, and then you can select from a variety of different things, like, there's this red shiny one that a lot of people use, um, there's the rainbow one, and, uh, there's other stuff like this line one, which I think you use to find, like, shading errors. It's also a toon shade one, which is pretty cool. This one, apparently. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You can also turn all your stuff into, a uh, shiny green metal if you wanted to. Yeah, I use this one because it looks pretty. <laughs> okay, so slushy machine down, shelves down. Next up are okay. I'm gonna model the fridges in studio. Um, chip bags. I can grab that from the toolbox. 
Hot dog roller things. Uh, yes, I will. Would you add cheese to the game? Sure. I'll add just a block of cheese in one of the um, refrigerators. Now that the slushy machine's made, I'm gonna turn these collections off. New collection. Hot dog roller. We have a so hydrate again. Sure. to work. Cube. All starts with a cube. <laughs> Not good man, you almost got the cheese touch. Ugh. The rules of the cheese touch state that it only happens from that one slice of very moldy cheese that is on the playground in that in that one uh Dairy Bowl Indie Kid video or movie. So um no I would not have gotten the cheese touch. Good. And we can extrude these up. And then the reference has these edges up like this. And then it's slightly beveled. Shade smooth, auto smooth, 45. I have no idea. I don't think Greg Heffley ever canonically killed his mom, but. At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised. So, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much Blender in a nutshell, Blaze. Everyone starts off by killing the default cube and then immediately replacing it. Kind of like a rite of passage. Now let's add some feet to this thing. Okay, no. Um. Hmm. hmm. So then we can do. Okay, so if we go individual origins, would it work better? Yeah. Then down. Double these. Actually, no. All um, control A. All transforms. I'll make this even out a bit better. Now I just need to take these. Or sharp. Here's the base. Next, we'll have the dials. They're sharp. Shift D, separate. Shape this flat. Let's make the actual rollers. Um, so let's do mesh cylinder. It doesn't need to be too detailed, so let's do 16 polygons. 16 vertices. Okay, that shade smooth, auto smooth. Now we start rolling. Literally. I match the slope best I can. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, this goes here and then shift R. 
need more rollers than that. Now I gotta delete some of the duplicates. Now I just have a bunch of rollers. Ah uh, yes, 10 sub subserfs just for a hot dog. Now we can join all of these. Oh, I just realized I totally could just be using an array modifier. Hang on. just work on this, which makes my life much easier. Medium point scaling. Okay. This. Scale it up. Okay, um... I'll do constant offset. to be separated. Roller inner. Roller outer. So this will be a different color than this. So then what I can do this and then We're not making that smaller. Um, I mean, it's really all we need. This will make a hot dog model too. Clear the array modifier. Make it shorter. How much time do we have left? 10 hours. Okay. We haven't even started on the coffee shop. Wonderful. Eh, that's pretty much a hot dog. Now it's just a matter of placing them. One here. One here. One here. Like 
stack the hot dogs in line. Such. And then I'll put some on this roller. Alright, I've got hot dogs. I'm gonna have to rename all of these hot dogs. have been renamed can't see your stream you can mask your name yeah boy i sure would have liked to know that about 20 seconds ago hey. so the hot dog roller is ready to go now I'm going to take all the hot dogs. Here, yep, that's all the hot dogs. Join them all together. Because they're not going to be like separated at any point. It's just going to be hot dogs. We have button panel, base, and roller outer. I'm going to separate this portion of the base. All this base inner. Alright, that's done. Scale that down. Hot dog roller done. Um, Build a slushy can for the um, slushy machine. Or like a, not a can, like a slushy bottle. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so let's do circle. Do. Do a firing animation in Blender, it's not garbage. Nice. Pretty good achievement. Shade smooth, auto smooth. Boom, cut. Level this lip. That 
45. Sharp. Double these. Yes. Just the cup. Should add a uh, add a bottom to the cup. That would probably help. Now what I can do, please separate this down into the billet. This is the actual slush material. Have a slushy cup. So I can actually script like a slushy so you can get a slushy. Cool. This needs to be parented to that so that they move together. Be placed about here. two of them. What, what's going on? Uh, you know what? It's there. Okay, so... We got the slushy cup. Uh, next up would be a soda can. Seems too hard to model. A cylinder and 16 straight smooth auto smooth 45 Addicted to auto smooth. It's just so useful. Ah, I don't understand how I would use Blender without it. Hello, better King Bob. Welcome to the stream. So now I can begin. Uh, I want box select. Level that. Or circular. Oh, another hydrate. Alright. We'll go ahead and um, mark all that as complete. Complete all. Okay. Gotta make a hole in here. What I'll do is connect those, connect those, connect those, those. Now I can do this. This, delete this vertice. And then, well, that like that. 
now that I have that, I can extrude it to make it 3D. Such. Now I can go and add a bevel modifier. Or actually, I'll try the bevel modifier. Add those to it. It looks pretty good. A bit more protruding. Oh, it's actually like this. Okay. Boom, soda can. the shade smooth auto smooth 45 actually no i won't merge them we'll make a new collection we'll be all right that's off the list next up is a soda bottle so What a bottle, let's see. Got a reference pulled up. Let's start with a cylinder. N16, the usual. I'll treat this as the middle. Then up, in, up, up, out. Up, up slightly and then slowly in at the top and then up the uh, lip here and then up to the cap which I will model separate yeah. Also gonna model an interior to here. Hopefully delete that face. That one. Okay, I'll continue the uh, bottom here before I go any further. Protruding. It's tall. Let me squish that. Grab the interior here. for the cap. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what's the game? I am making a gas station uh, like vibe game attached to a like sh like a um, coffee shop. So now we have this. This will be the cap. I 
I'll do the uh, little bushes in the cap. I don't know how to model a cap. Uh, let me restart. Up and up and in slightly. The Lego stud. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, bevel that. Come on, shade smooth. Go ahead and bevel that. Okay, that's our soda bottle. That works. Soda bottle. Cap. So if we hide the cap during gameplay, you can actually drink out of it. And I'll go ahead and make a uh, filling. So let's go ahead and get started. Yo! Storage, thank you for the 19 month resub. <sighs> ah, glad to see you're still here, man. Yeah. Hey. Soda. Alright, now let's make new collection. Put a bottle. All in there. Okay, that's that mesh done. Or ads. Um, it's Twitch that controls the ads. Um, basically, you get uh, basically every 30 minutes or so, uh, there is a 1 minute 30 um, ad break. I'm going to try and scale these a bit better. Uh, and. Okay, I think it's export time on some of these. Um, let's start with the shelves. Um, dark. I hide that. The rest of this is light, right? I'll merge all the shelves into one. Oop, nope, no, 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 no. Fly, fly. Shelves and then base. All right, first export coming right up. Go 3D objects and go gas station objects. Collected objects only. 0 0.01 scale. Export. Okay, shelves are done. Next up, slushy machine. File. Export. FBX. Slushy machine. Export. Next up is the hot dog roller. File. Export. FBX. Hot dog roller. Objects only. Okay. Soda can. File, export, FBX, soda can, export, and the soda bottle. File, export, FBX, soda bottle, and export. Okay. Now, there are two, there are a couple things we haven't done yet. 
chip bags, refrigerator, uh, cash register, ATM. Um, we'll need to get all of those done sometime eventually. Um, yeah, station props. Uh, blend, save that. All right, let's head back into studio. All right, get a PBR ATM? Yeah, that's likely what I'll do. Um, all right, so here we are back in studio. Um, let's get these meshes imported. So if I go with 3D objects, gas station project. Okay, you can do one at a time. Let's start with the hot dog roller. All right, looks fine. Um, anchored, yes. Import. Hmm. That works out. Reset the pivot. It's actually a decent size. I don't think I need to rescale that. Nice. I'll put it here just for the time being. Oh, it's almost your birthday. Happy early birthday, man. Let's get to coloring this, so... Puppy Wuppy, thank you for the follow. Super appreciated. Smooth plastic. Smooth plastic, and yeah, that lighter color seems fine. And for this, we can go metal. Increase that brightness up. Um, same for these, make them metal. Oh, these gotta be double-sided. Same with these. And you guys. Hot dogs. Double-sided. Let's give you a hot dog color. And plastic actually works fine. Probably make the grills darker. Hot dog roller ready. Oh my god, yeah, I gotta make one of the ice cream freezer things. Ah, man. At this rate, we're not even gonna be done with the gas station before I have to start building the cafe and the timer runs out. Okay. Next up. Shelves. Anchored. Import. Reset pivot. And this is already a pretty decent size. This is what happens when you export in a 0 0.01 scale. Stuff looks good. It's not like dramatically oversized. Trick I've learned. All right, here's our shelf model. These into props. Okay. Next on the list, plugins, mesh importer, is the slushy machine. Anchored. Oh wait, the cup is part of it. Okay, what I'll do is I'll turn off the slush and slushy cup. That's just the machine. Actually, wait. Sl okay, that's the slush we want. Okay, yeah, this is good. Slushy machine. Oh, I need to export the um slushy cup separate, don't I? Yeah, I forgot to do that. Okay, um... So we got the slushy machine. I'll build stands for these, don't worry. We got a metal base. Smooth plastic, and then like a light color. This, we'll do glass. 
the transparency. The default color is fine. Or the slush. Chat, what flavor should the slush be? Should it be should it be cherry, blue raspberry? Y'all's choice. We'll have multiple. How about that? Okay. We'll start with cherry and then we'll do other flavors. Let's make these slightly darker, so I'm a smooth plastic. Boom, slushy machine. Okay. I can duplicate this a couple times. Different flavors. These into props. So this one could be blue raspberry. And this one could be like I don't know, lemonade or something. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Slush. So it could be like lemonade. Oh yeah, Baja Blast. Yeah, that's better. Better flavor idea. I think it's like a teal color, right? And the slush should actually be slightly transparent. So let's do... Oh, actually, nope, can't do that. Neon's probably the best way to go. Alright, another hydrate. Yeah. All right, that was the last of my water. I'll have to get a refill next hydrate. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, slushy machines are go. Let's see what's up next. Soda bottle. Hmm. I'll leave that anchored for now. Or basic the main purpose of these is to stack a crap ton of them inside of the uh inside of the fridge. Yeah, I plan on trying to make the uh slushy machines actually work. Okay, I need to rescale these to player scale. Seems about right. Let's make all those double sided. Slightly transparent. This one red. And the soda. It will be a um undisclosed soda. That totally isn't Coca Cola. Really got to model all this? Yes, sir! You know it. Ugh. Gotta model all this, otherwise the game won't be good. <sighs> okay, and I can leave that plastic. So, soda bottle. Yeah! Got the soda bottles. We can make different color variations later. Um, Jesus, we're not going to have that many slushy machines. Chill. Chill out. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Got soda. Now let's get the soda can. Soda can. Anchored. Let's make... Uh, double-sided. Can does not need to be double-sided as far as I'm concerned. So, import. Okay, drag you down from the ceiling. Set pivot. Check for hand placement. Seems good to me. Right. I can make you metal. Ooh, shiny. Um, 
polished metal. And then go for you, but actually go smooth plastic and then like gray color. Boom, soda can. Rainbow texture over neon. Mm -hmm. they, I may have to make this gray. More of a peach color. Dr. Redacted. <laughs> if I have the time, I'll make like brand posters and logos for all these, but I don't think I'll have the time. Okay, so that's in. Now we need to head back into Blender and re-export the uh, slushy cup. So, slushy cup and slush. File, export, FBX. Let's go slushy cup. Selected objects, 0.01 scale. Plugins, mesh importer, slushy cup. You need to be double sided. You need to actually I'm gonna leave you unanchored so that I can make it into a tool. Add over Blender? Uh for certain uh situations, yes. For Roblox Studio development, no. Yo, thanks for the bits. <laughs> Super appreciated, my guy. Okay. We got the slush. Um, we'll make this, uh, cherry just for the, just for the short term. Yes, the slush is neon. No, I do not care. Um, we'll do smooth plastic and give it a color. Like this color. Yeah. Fifteen users. God damn. Okay, glad to see y'all are enjoying this little stupid little game. Um, it's not even close to being done yet, so you're in for a long ride. <laughs> okay, now it's time to grab some of the models that I really didn't feel like modeling. Um, okay, first up, chip bag. Um, chip bag. I'm looking for meshes here, nothing else. These all suck. Search for a mesh. Maybe I just search bag. Or chips. Okay, that's a Sonic character. Um, okay, looks like we're modeling a chip bag. Okay, back to Blender. Um, and the thing broke. Okay. Um, Blender, here we go. All right, chip bag time. It's a world origin. Let's get back to world origin. Mesh cube. Okay. Now chat, we're gonna try some fancy stuff here. We're gonna try using a cloth sim. I have no idea if this is going to work, but if it if it does, it'd be cool. So first thing, I'm gonna need to subdivide it like times. And then um the cloth. I need to remove gravity. How do I remove gravity? Um Uh, property weights, um, field weights, gravity, uh, zero. Okay, now, the idea is that we apply pressure, and it puffs up. Oh, okay, not, not, not like that. I think the 
this is good. So, if I apply this, now we can begin messing with the Geo. Create another Hydrate. I'm gonna have to go and I'm gonna have to go grab some water then. Dead out. Okay, so we got a chip bag looking. Um, Scorch. Um, however many points Boy Who Didn't has, I don't think they have as many as you. I think this is pretty good for a chip bag mesh. We can just stack these. Um, okay, Fridge and Making Studio. Uh, cash Register. Oh, you chip bag file export fbx chip bag objects point on one scale back to studio chip bag no need for double mesh it or double sided things chip bag. um anchored sure um, oh, okay, sure, why not? All right, it's a decent size for a chip bag. Now, you can color it. Yellow chips. There. What happens if I slap a decal on it? What if I just um toolbox images full face? Just for testing purposes, you know? Um face is that it's the right face. Okay, so it is in it is possible to um, design labels for these. So chat, if any of you want to design labels for some of these chip bags, join my Discord server in the bottom right and ping me with some of your designs. Please include like a like a twenty to thirty pixel border on each end so that it doesn't like clip on the edges here. But feel free to make some cool designs as long as it is Roblox TOS approved. I could add it to the game. Okay, but for now, no troll face. <laughs> okay, so we have all of our props ready. Now it's time to get to work assembling them. Well, actually, no, not all of our props. We still need to get a couple. Um, models. Let's start off with an ATM. I'm going to search PBR, see if we get any cool ones. Nope, literally nothing. Wonderful. Um... I search meshes instead. It's literally just a Left 4 Dead 2 one. Mm -hmm. uh, bag size in studs. Um, let me check. It is... Here, I'll simplify these. Um, um, 1.13 by 0.85. Her length and width and depth doesn't matter. So if you're looking for a pixel amount, it would be 11, actually, hmm. You'd be looking at roughly, um, so, 50 times 0.75 638 um you should be using that resolution i just sent in chat remember to leave a margin okay this okay i can probably un that 
there's no need. Does that look better in smooth plastic? Oh yeah. Time to get um, an ATM mesh made. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I have been a subscriber for 19 months. The same length as Scorch, actually. Scorch is the true OG of the chat. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to model an ATM. <sighs> okay, here we go. Back to Blender! We have just over 10 hours remaining. Let's get started. Now what I can do is just come on. Nope. I can't remember what a hotkey is to press. Um, no. So I can go out in the x direction, and then these can come up in the direction. And now we have like a privacy shield, kinda. What I'll do here is um, do this trick where I do this B S individual origins. Oh, oh. Um, oh, Elon normals. There we go. It's gonna have like a strike to it. Pretty cool. Now I have to actually like make an ATM. So uh add a couple things here. First off, I'll add like a card slot. So Um yeah, as long as it's a fake barcode. I mean, I don't think I'd get in trouble if it was a real one, but better safe than sorry. Scale. Shade smooth, auto smooth, yeah! Set that 45. And then we have our card slot just like that. Okay. It fits all for a card slot, let me fix that. Next, we need the cash deposit, so that. I'm gonna quickly switch off of my map. Actually, no, I'll just put on cavity. Switch it off. And then go to. Oh, here we go. Help me differentiate between objects better.
where your cash would come out. Let's quickly make a um, thing here. Hmm. I can do is go here, control E, bridge edge loops. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's better. Like this. Alright, that's where your cash would come out. And then I'll make one more addition to it. Keypad. Probably important. Put down. Back submission. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Just reading all my things right now. Hang tight. Okay, so where were we? Uh, right panel. So the P separates. Shrink that. Now we gotta make this. Oh, it's shrewd. Then subdivide this face. Or, hmm. Do just this. That screwed. Bevel. Actually, no, before that, apply scale and bevel. Keypad. Yeah. And then I'll um, make a separate. Here for like special buttons, I guess. Um, fill that. Oh, I ignored your hydrate. Oh. Hmm. That's my bad. Well, I'll, I'll go get a drink in a minute, alright? That works for the keypad. Yeah, boy, he didn't. This is the ATM. Um, something. I'm trying to keep the screen flat. And this will be the sign that just says ATM on it. All right, another hydrate, this time from Yeterson. Um, I'll go ahead and get that settled. That is a mesh. Um, ATM label. Go ahead and separate this. Actually, not yet. Make it slightly smaller so that there, that way there's like a bevel. There we go. Now we can split it and make this our screen. Mesh, drop, buttons, then extras, case. That's all we really need, right? Calculate normals. Oop. Thank you for the follow, Cloudy X. 
Okay. Now I just need to figure out what rotation I need to rotate the screen to in order to get it. Okay, so if I rotate you on the y-axis, I... Six point okay, let's should yeah, twenty six point nine. Should say that. Well that looks dope. Oh thank you. Uh, it's just a prop I'm making for uh our one oh how'd you make the colors like that? Uh it's actually a setting in blend setting in blender. Make sure when you're in solid view, you can go up here and by default it's the studio material. Click on matte cap, you can select from a whole bunch of different materials. I choose this one because it looks pretty. <laughs> but there's a bunch of other options too, like there's this one. That's that. That's the default. You can choose a black color. This red clay thing. You can choose to find normal errors. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. I only found out. I only found out about this like yesterday, but I've been using it ever since. <laughs> okay, I think this is pretty much as good as I'm gonna need for a for an ATM. But I'll try beveling these just to give it a bit more shape. Yeah, that's good. Um... Bismuth. Yeah, it does remind me of Bismuth. I'll go ahead and try and bevel these too. Beveling just makes stuff look better. It gives it more, like, definition, I guess. I won't bevel this, though. It's fine. Uh, never actually make something good in Blender. Well, you won't if you don't practice. <laughs> I'm just going to write that down in chat so I can remember the screen rotation. Okay. Now we can select all these. File, export, FBX, ATM. Selected objects, 0.01. Okay. Now let's head back into studio and get this imported. ATM, anchored, import, yes, I have 1913 sub to my own channel, who would have thought, um, something a reasonable scale, um, 26.9, Orientation seems to go in the positive Y. So, let's fine. There we go. Oh, well, thank you, Cloudy. Okay. Here, neon black screens. Go for a uh, smooth plastic for the case. Just like bluish tone works now for the cash drop and the extra let's go metal a darker color okay and then smooth plastic for the butt right that works now it's time for gui design Earth gui to be on the right side. Right, slight influence zero. Text label. Zero, one, zero. ATM should be a donation box. Ooh, that's a good idea. Um, I'll do that later if we have time. Although making making Robux off this game is not my first priority. So text, where where'd the text field go, huh? Oh, here it is. ATM. That works. I want the brightness value too. We'll see. We'll be okay. Um. Do I really want to mod like design an entire like screen for this? Mm 
Nah, that'll be fine. I'll just say like out of order or something. So we have ATMs now. Um, I'll put this out front. Why is it so tall? Um, I don't know, using the reference I had. Although that isn't very convenient. I like rotate it like this. Ah, it hangs over. We'll have to put it inside. I'll put it like... Come on. Put it like over here, I guess. It's like a decent spot for some ATMs. ATMs. Um, scale nudge to your plugin. That would be cool. Um, I don't exactly know what you mean by that, but I'm sure whatever you make, it'll be cool. Um, okay, so we got ATMs. Goes into props. So then. Lock the base plate again, it's not even being used. Um, control chips. Hmm. Default nudging pushes part scaling changes of scale. It could be interesting. Hmm. Gas pumps. Okay. Now we can start just spamming these shelves. What does 10 studs look like? Yeah, that works. So... In... Maybe not, maybe not like right there. Yeah, this seems fine. Walk face first into those, it's probably not good. Control R. Oh. Oh. Learn something new every day. Please. Um, yeah, Cloudy, this is all built from scratch. Uh, nothing here is free modeled. Um, look, I knew about like when you're grabbing it, you can press R to rotate and T to like tilt, but like I didn't know you could just control R to do it on the spot. Uh, to those making chip bag designs, please do not reference Astral Industries at all. Um, yeah, I, I know that you guys like it, but I'd like to keep this separate from that universe. Okay. So, um, chip bags done. Um, ATM done. The last thing we need is a refrigerator and a cash register. Hmm. I guess it's about time we do the fridges. Put them on this wall here. I'll just have like a giant wall like in the grocery stores. Yeah, yeah, I know about the control one, two, three, four key binds. I've been using those like every day. That I'm in studio at least. I, I, I'm not in studio daily. I'm not that much of a no-lifer. Um, let's see. The textures. Let's give it a little bit of padding. Bring a scale dummy over here. So, needs to be metal, darker. The details, thank you. Um, it's still very much in early in development. Like, I, I, I started work on all of this like six and a half hours ago. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, so hook up grocery store refrigerators. Grocery store refrigerator system. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that, that looks complicated. I, I'm seeing a bunch of mechanisms after I googled that. <laughs> okay, so... Go in here. Okay, so then there's, there's like a bottom rack, and then there's like the shelves. I'll need to make. So this will be like such. And then I can like put this on top. You can also hold all yeah yeah. Yeah, I, I know those. Um it was just the uh control R keybind I didn't know. Yeah, don't worry about it though. It's good that you're trying to help people. Or could use more people like you. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can not worry about Z-clipping there. Um, well, this will just be like a giant fridge unit. Um, Let's go! Okay, yeah, that should be good. So we have this. Um, More people have found the sound effects I've, I see. Um, got this. Get some depth. Maybe make it a little lighter. Actually, I won't have doors or anything. I'll just have it be one of those like open air fridges. So what I'll do is I'll make this into a wedge part. And, and the hypotenuse is on the wrong side. Lovely. Yep. I'm gonna reset that. Wait, I should be using the control R. And then control T, I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm learning. Woo. Okay. Oh, if it saves your game. Hmm, yeah, sure. Totally believe you. Um, now we've got this here. By the way, one of these grocery store fridge things, like, they cost, like, $26,000. Take a small break to clear your head and clear your pit. Okay. Um, that is a good idea. I should be prioritizing. I don't think I've even eaten anything today. I, got, I gotta get something. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Chat, I'm now going to be taking, like, a small five-minute break for, you know, health. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I will be back with a full cup of water and a snack. Um, please stick around. I'll be back for, like, I'll be gone for, like, five minutes. Uh, remember, the timer is still ticking. I can't pause it. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes.
All right, chat, we're back. Um, I got myself a sandwich. Um, in case you haven't been paying attention to chat, it's it was a uh, provolone and salami, but instead of bread, I used waffles, and it was really good. Like I'm proud of myself for coming up with that combo. But um, yeah. Um, it is now time to get back to work because the clock is still ticking, and we have an entire other building to make. So let's get back. Let's get back to work. All right. Okay, let's get a second wedge down here. Uh, 180 degrees. Start to meet. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that place. Trust me, I've been a dev for like two years now, so I, I, I generally know my way around studio. We are six hours in, aren't we? Hmm. Nine and a half remaining. Ah, you already know. Let's go ahead and flip those around. Get a nice wedge bottom to these shelves. Nice. Now we can install the, um, Glass. Oh, actually, let's make this back wall a little bit different. If I remember correctly, in Chronicle, there is this. Or no, no, no. It was in. It's one specific texture I feel would work really well with this. This one, it's black, so I need to do that, and then I wish the texture was white. Wait, what am I doing? I can just edit it. Hang on. I just have to go and get this asset ID. And then just edit it in paint.net or something. Wait, no. I don't need to do that. Because what I can do is... Okay, that's the background color I want. And what I can do is wherever I want the um, grill texture... Let's do this, set transparency to 1. Grill. 1. Do like that. And then up the transparency a bit. So now we have it. This little um, grill effect, I guess. And then we can uh, duplicate this to the other shelves. Then let's go ahead and do this part. This is what I'm doing now. I'm making a light for this. Be relatively big. Neon. Get this color. A surface light. 
Sitting down, oh, up, apparently. Okay. Um, use that angle a bit. Actually, what we can do is rotate the part back so that the light is facing the shelves. Okay. Here, we can make this like a bluish color, just because, you know, blue means cold. Crank the brightness up. Although. much there. What we can do to sell the effect more is give a slight blue hue to everything here. All of these slightly blue. Not too much, but just slightly. Make this light slightly blue. We can do this and drop the brightness down. the angle up if you want. This is probably good. Range 16 is fine. Although be an issue. Oh, just turn shadows on. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> now I'm gonna add some glass. Not, not like full window glass, but like just enough glass to provide a, a rack for the bottom shelf items to rest on. So, 0.6 and make it blue. And now the cold section's done ish. Should add on. Um, should be add to here. We make this bigger and then put like vents on it or something. It work. Get some vents on here. Yo, Ricard, welcome to the chat. Good to see you, man. I wish there was like a search bar so I didn't have to look for textures. Okay, what I can do is here. No, I'm gonna do something different. It's gonna be a Nico's next spot map or something. Uh, no, it's a um, it's like a vibe game. But, but it's gonna be not just the gas station, but also a coffee shop strapped to it. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's just gas station sim, but you don't work at the gas station. Black, zero, wait, zero. Let's shoot one, two, three, zero. Okay, and now we do one, zero, one, zero, and then one minus ten, one minus ten, or one minus five, one minus five. 5.5, 5. Um, what kind of mod is this? I'm using a Roblox Studio Mod Manager with um the vanilla icon pack. I'll just do like restud padding. And then center, center. Now we have a vent. I just set up the mod manager. Um, I got it from a GitHub page. Uh, I'll see if I can find the official link to it so I can send it to you guys and you don't have to worry about like getting a virus or something. Although it did flag my antivirus several times when I tried to install it. 
it's, it's normal for programs like that. Okay. Studio Mod Manager. All right, here it is. Uh, that link is where you get it. Um, if you want the icon pack, you're going to have to get it separately. Um, and it's by Eltov. It's the vanilla icon. It's... I haven't installed it. I can't figure out how to use it. Um, just run the EXE and click Launch Studio, and it should work. And uh, if you want the vanilla icons, here you go. The website has uh, instructions for uh, how to install it. Yeah, that's the dev form page as well. Hmm. Invites. Hmm. Okay. Well, chat, time to fill the shelves. This is going to take a while. So first off, how big is the soda bottle? About a third of a stud. I do 0. 0.4. No, 0. 0.5. Yeah, that'll do. I'm not going to do it all the way down. I'm going to do it in like clusters. So I'll group the groups. Make a big group. Now I can go and just like do stuff here. And now I have to remodel all of, or recolor all of these. I can make these ones blue. Although I'll need to recolor the actual soda inside of them. I've missed a few. Yeah, I'm making them blue. Ta-da! Now I just gotta repeat this process a couple times. Okay. I'll add, I'll, I'll add more of those in a bit. Uh, we got some chip bag designs to implement. So... The first design we have is by Scorch.
And we have hair in a bag. Okay, look, uh, Ricard, the way I do my scaling system is everything is one half of the previous increment. So it's 1.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625, 0 0.03125, and then usually there's nothing below that that you need. Uh, Ricard, by using the system, um, I'm able to uh, I'm able to ensure that all of my um, that all of my like grids line up together. Because if I use like one and point uh, one, then like it would take extra effort to line up those grids. Let's say if I use like point oh five and stuff, like yeah, the one. 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0.001 scale works, but like, it's not preferred. Um, are they filled with air or nitrogen? Ask Scorch, he made these, not me. Okay, so we got chips. And dried water. Nah, dehydrated water. Salted nuts with no nuts. We have hair in a bag and props I'll put the soda clusters and props so now it's a matter of getting different chip designs on board so the next design is um bag of air by blaze you're gonna redesign yours, Wolf? Alright, I won't use yours for now then. Not affiliated with Air in a Bag. <laughs> what if you use the Align tool? No, I don't use the Align tool, but I do use Resize Align. Please don't crash studio. Okay. Upload the file. Yeah, Ricard, I don't really know that many people who use it. Dot label. Okay. So 
world. Opera's being funny. Mm. Okay. Next up. We have Spicy Sticks, also by Blaze. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough for your chip bag designs. Um, are you only a builder modeler or can you script as well? Oh boy, you finally asked. Okay, here are the things I do. Building, scripting, 3D modeling, music composition, UI design, UX design, community management, finances, um, level design, map design, uh, just stuff. I mean, I, I do a lot. <laughs> I consider myself full stack. Oh, hello, JJ. <laughs> okay, so... Let's um, chip bag three. We got spicy sticks. It's so hot. It's hot. Uh, truly the pinnacle of marketing. Now I just paste that. Boom, spicy sticks. <laughs> now I can color them red. Actually, they'd be orange. Yeah, that's a good color for him. Decals are cool because they like warp to the mesh. Okay. Already got three different types. Or already three different chip bags. Or two types of chips and literally just air. Um. So, um. Next up, we got troll chips. Um, Atomic, are you okay with me using it? You're still in chat. Okay, so, do more decals? Um, sure, if you want. Don't feel pressured to. Okay. Alright, since um, someone said they're going to redesign theirs, and I'm assuming that was Atomic, um, I'll go ahead and hold off on using that for now. Again, if you have more chip bag labels uh, designs, um... Oh, was it yours? Oh, okay, okay, I'll add yours then. Oh, we'll just send it in Astral Industries and not uh, Starship Astro. Okay, I got confused. Alright, troll chips are coming in. Um, chip bag four. Okay. Now let's duplicate these. Put them here. Okay, let's get this texture uploaded. Bag four. You have a texture that is just dots on a grid. I can see if I can find one real quick. I've been in here in the middle section. I mean, there's this one, corrugated metal grill. Speakers. Um. Uh, Ricard, try that one. Speakers. Yeah, that's why I like this plugin so much. You can just there's so many textures. 
Uh. Right. So, gas station's already looking more lively. And I'm not gonna bother putting stuff on the edge shelves. Let's get the uh, slushy station made. It'll be right here next to the ATMs. So, um, station. Okay, so let's start with this. Out of wood. Wood plank. That is bricks, not wood planks. What am I looking at? Uh, in the meantime, I'll just use my own wood texture. Wood composite decking one is pretty good. Brown color. And then we'll add a tabletop. That way you don't like stain the wood with slushy. Delete texture, actually. Oh, the texture's good. Just the material that needs to be changed. Metal. And then make it gray. And then like decrease the tile size. Yeah, there we go. Make it make a game in one hour? Uh an obby, go. These need to be darker. Don't look right being that bright. Same with the button panels. I think those be that makes them look better. Goes for the nozzle or the levers. Hmm. Now we're going to take. A cup. The slush transparent. We are going to stack the cups. So if I do point one two five. Just point five. Boom, cup stacks. I like to get rid of some of them for uh, diversity's sake, I guess. Or variety. Yeah, variety. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, yep, got cups to use now. Um, hmm. So it's like I put like a napkin dispenser here or something, or like a paper towel roll. I'll make one of those real quick. So let's get a cylinder up in here. The textures. Cylinder. Make 
So we got our cylinder. Now we duplicate it. Make it really tiny. Stretch it up. Go like this. And Make these white and plastic. Boom, paper towels in case stuff gets dirty or something. I don't know. Tanners probably like it. I'll quickly add like the cardboard roll to it. Brown and then plastic. Uh, what? Power roll. Rotate these a bit. I'll put some seats on this table to fill the rest of the space. Uh, Slushy station is good to go. Remember to use the resolution I said earlier. Um, I'm trying to think if it's still in chatter or if, uh, or people have talked and then it got or something. Um, anyways, just remember to use that specific resolution so that, uh, it appears okay in game. <laughs> I can't just be sitting here idling. I got stuff to do. Um, suppose I could add the hot dog roller to here. So you can get yourself a hot dog. Thank you, Blaze. I, I just said I was gonna put seats here, but um, hot dogs. I'm gonna need like a hot dog, like bun bag or something. Or tongs. So, scooch those back. I'll just make the tongs, but I'll have to just get buns somewhere else, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, let's see. Lock. Got a pair of tongs you could use. Mm -hmm. 
need those, don't need those, don't need those. Toss up is the can. can. Also stick these in the uh, cold section. Uh, so that seems to be too little. 2.6. Better. Yo, welcome back, guys. Uh, store's going good. Um, we got a slushy and hot dog station over here now. Um, don't worry about the lack of hot dog buns. Uh, they'll have to find them themselves. Um, yo! Yeah, Goldie. Uh, I, uh, yeah, go Goldie Stro. I, I, I think that's how I'm pronouncing it. I'm probably butchering it, but hi, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I'm just filling the shelves right now. So... And let's group all these. Um, up cluster. Okay, so now what I can do, I can just put these here and make them a different color. Much easier to color these. Boom. Now we got blue soda. These over here. Select all these. It should take some. Right. Now, boom. Green soda. It's honestly that simple. Now we can do this. Pull these down. In the stream on the ACG server. Oh, that's cool. Did you just see it in my status or something? Oop. Hang tight.
Okay. I'm not muted, am I? Okay, good. Uh, hi, we're back. Um, sorry for the delays. Stuff came up. We're good now, though. I am going to get some of these. And add some other cold food items. Um. I promised Highwell I'd add this. Yes, I am using pre-modeled cheese. I do not feel like modeling cheese. Oh boy, we do have more chip designs. Okay. Alright, so we have six more slots open. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to skip the uh, quote unquote dosh for dosh one because I'm afraid Roblox might see that as a weed reference. Um, Chip bag five, which is jumps. So the game is good, and you're going to continue working on it. I mean, if it does good, then probably. I've had a lot of fun with this project so far. It feels nice not having standards. Hmm. Came out weird. Now guys, remember, whenever you make chipback designs, leave like a 20 to 30 pixel margin between the edge of the screen and your design. Stuff like this could happen. A good example is Scorch's air in a bag. You can see a clearly defined like border on the edge. That's like 20 to 30 pixels away from the edge of the design to prevent clipping. Jumps. Now we got Wacky Chips by STM. Remember, uh, if you want to make a chip bag design, uh, go to Starship Astro General Chat and submit it there. Um, we still got a couple spots open. Uh, there's a specific resolution you should be using. Blaze posted it in chat a while back. Again, your contributions are greatly appreciated. I'm not even sure what to color these. Become green, I guess. Hmm. Only chips. Yeah, we should use some of the uh, things for other things other than just chips. To have diversity, I guess. Mm -hmm. tacos. I'm not putting a taco stand in here. Sounds like too much work. Your 
Fortnite rip up really spooky too. Uh, yeah. Okay, the cake from Portal. Have one specific shop with all the chips next to each other. Mm, fair enough, but uh, it's gonna take more to fill up all the other shelves though, so we're gonna need more designs and or other like products. Like we could have like cereal boxes or something if y'all want to design cereal boxes. Um, I'll make the I'll make the part for that real quick so that y'all can start designing. It's fun to see what you all come up with. So I set this back to front. Um, you need to go into the props, or I, I just works this for now. Cereal box. Oh, this needs to be a regular part. Ooh, that's acting weird. What's up with that? Okay guys, uh, if you want to design a cereal box, um, give me a second because my handles are misaligned for some reason. Um, your dimensions are... Um, okay, I'm going to put them in chat for a second. Uh, reset pivot. Thanks. These are your dimensions for cereal boxes. Yeah, and a drink. Okay, for now, um, I'm gonna add like a bath. Maybe like a carpet. Give it more of a soft environment. Because vibe games usually have soft environments. Okay, let's clear the textures. Make this like yellowish. And put a perfect texture on it. Yeah, that's instantly better. Now we just have to let the carpet follow a path around the store. What's that material picker plugin? Um, Puffy Wuffy. That is this. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Uh, Texture Library Tool by Lion's Head Roar. Um, uh, um, I'll quickly send you the link. Can I go on AFK? All right, Picard, I'll see you later. Um, in here and then oh, what happened to my resize align okay Not my hot bar. oh okay that's weird um let's get the uh here made Alright, now we have this. 
we can copy those and paste them in between here. Given that we set so like two studs or something. Like a grid of sorts. If these can be set to four though. Three, I guess. These only extend to here. This is off the grid. Uh, yeah, no worries, Puffy. I'm always uh, ready to share plugins because I, I don't want to gatekeep any of them. Because they help everyone become better devs, and I think that's a great thing. Alright, let's have checkout. You right here. I suppose I could just make this entire thing like carpet, entire section. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Welcome back, Ricard. Just this. Now the floor is carpeted. Get the ceiling trim real quick. Make it darker so it stands out more. with the color correction for a minute. Okay, look, whenever you um, make a design, make sure you uh, say whether it's a chip bag design or a serial design. That way I can, like, um, know what kind of model to put it on.
18 people watching? Wow, that's impressive. Hello, chat. Uh, can we make multiple serial designs? Yeah, feel free. I mean, the more the merrier. It's just more epic. Or, Hello there. Epic, I guess. Just more designs. <laughs> Peterson. Except I may have made these a bit too big. Um, the ratio should be the same. I just gotta make the model smaller. But it actually fits here. Um, this will be like bite sized cereal boxes or something. I don't know. Ratios. <laughs> It's just like cereal, but like um, the shape of the cereals are just L's. <laughs> ratios. <laughs> Radios and ratios. God, okay. How much time do we have left? Eight hours. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Or halfway out of our allotted time, which is bad um very bad okay i'm just gonna have these on standby i need to get working i can't just sit around um okay i'll come back for the uh serial designs later i need i have a building to make now it's time to actually start working on the on the coffee shop. So, I'm gonna look up some floor plans and get some ideas. Mean Bean? Nah. Why don't you yoink the proximity prompts from your age? Surface prompts. Hmm. Okay. Um. That'll be for when I get scripting. Remember, I'm building everything first and then I'm scripting it. I don't want to waste time scripting unfinished stuff. Okay. Let's Okay, I've got one. Um, hopefully I can use this to not... Whatever, Snack Shack. That, that's too basic of a name. Um, okay, let's move you from layout to building. Building. Okay. Um, hand collide true. It's you concrete. Let's get this coffee shop built. Okay. Now what we can do is here. Send you all the way out. These you can align. I'll just resize align this. Okay, so now I have our foundation. Hmm. Uh, it's a coffee shop with stuff like pastries and stuff. Just think of it as like a cafe in the middle of nowhere. Because that's basically what it is. I'm not joining VC because I need to focus. If I get into VC, I'm just going to get too distracted to work. Do 
literally lava. <laughs> well, tell him I said hello. I'll use the same door model here. Um, I should copy the old door. Actually, fine. I'll just make a new frame for it. Styles of the buildings are going to be a bit different anyways. So. I'm going to raise that off the ground so I can get a different floor in. So, do floor. That there. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with the L shape of the office for this, so building should be a lot simpler. Um, Hangman game a good idea? Um, not a bad idea. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you if it's going to be a success or not, just off the, off the topic. Okay, so, um, I'm going to go for a wood floor. So, I got dark. Almost a dark chocolate wood wood floor. So, let me find a good plank texture. I'm gonna flip this part 90 degrees. There. And now we can just Dark chocolate's good. I prefer white chocolate. Let's go! Okay, let's get some walls in. So. We'll start off with a with a dark brown wall trim, which will be the regular wood material. Followed up by another layer, this time of a lighter wood. Instead of the wood material here, I am going to go with plastic and then just add a wood texture. Maybe not that one. Actually, yeah, I'll make this the uh, texture for the wall. I want to go with more of a rustic vibe for this one. That is something so modern. And I'm going to copy the entire door, including the frame. So, you, and you, you, self. I guess I can grab the uh, glass. Yep. Did all that, missed the door. Okay. This out here. We can delete that. Probably delete that too. That'll give us a sense of location. That's. Okay, 
I have determined that this is not the best combination of textures. So instead, what I will be doing is making this a gray concrete or, or cobblestone texture. Maybe not cobble, what about brick? Or maybe I use that wood plank texture that I thought was bricks. Actually, it does make a pretty convincing brick. I'm using it. Alright, let's go here. Extend this out a little bit. This and this. Well, the new base plate has the uh, 2022 materials on by default. And I think they're cool, so I'll use them. I'm curious about this one. Well, that's the floor texture. I want to go for a plank texture. The walls, but. Oh, so that could work. I'm gonna add like detailing to the building and all, but it's a start. So we got our door. Then it just out a little bit. Like the doors. Or board, I guess. Um, that out to come on here. All right. Now it is all just a matter of building. lined up. I like having this like at a lower level to make it more cozy and also have the uh, opportunity of having like a roof deck which would be cool. You got the door to the cafe. Um, okay. <clears throat> trying to think of like cool ways we could build a uh, exterior for this coffee shop. Mm. 
Ooh, I found something cool. Starts with a foyer, or some kind of like, uh, awning, that's the word I'm looking for, an awning. So it's an awning, like this. Then it has a uh, back plate to it. So if I bring this down, it doesn't need to be perfect. See, clipping isn't really that big of an issue at this scale. So yeah, I can clear the textures on these since it'll be a different color. Be a smooth plastic and it'll be closer to white. Be saturated. Then we have uh, these little slits here. And then wedges underneath. Alright, now that that's done, you stack these, common intervals, say five studs, almost perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll with it. Or actually, no. What if, what if I do six studs? Perfect. Okay. Now the cool thing is that in the middle of here. Let's do size 1.5. All. Get neon. Brighten it up. And we can do this. And we can make this a block make like a mount for it. Make this metal. Actually this whole thing could be metal. Make this darker. Metal. What if I make it corrugated? Ah, that won't look good. Polished? Be a lighter color. Work. thing about these is that they can act as lights so I can put a point light on here color like an orange color now I can just duplicate this Uh, 
acts as lighting. Now that isn't quite perfect, so I'll just adjust it. Okay, we got lighting. There's a no, I'm not reading that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we got that. Put like a big window here, that'd be cool. Um, just get that prepped. Put like curtains over it. So this would be our glass. So let's clear the texture. Make it like black glass and then transparency up. Actually metal. Make that in line with the door. That won't work. I'm trying to figure out uh, ways to add more depth here. Add another window. Work. this right. All right, another window. You have some art on the wall. That could be cool. Um, I'm gonna need like a cafe like sign up here. I'm gonna need to actually make frames for the windows real quick. I'm just transparency to zero for that. Cool, we have a frame. 
copy this over to the other window. Like the material plugin, but for particles. I don't know any plugins like that, but I know there are several particle pack free models you can find and put into like oh an asset place. Like I have a couple personally. Do. Should I add some more spice to the window? string going through the middle. I'm well, not really string as much as a metal support, but whatever. Mm. Turn my camera light off. It's very like ambient. I like it. Like a neon sign here, that'd be cool. Uh camera light. Yeah it's a plug-in. Straps a spotlight to your camera. Scorch has a better version of it, apparently, so you'd have to ask him to send the link. Okay, delete texture. On creates. Slightly lighter version of this color. And now we need a neon sign texture. Or we can just make a neon sign. Let's do this. Figure out what direction I need to put it. Right side. Yeah, right side. Add influence zero. Brightness two. Base right. Add a text label. One zero. Uh, text center. Text scale. Text color three. Give it a nice warm orange. Even brighter. Size bigger. How to make text glow? No, uh, go into the surface GUI, set light influence to zero, and this property shows up, crank it. The higher it goes, the brighter the text. I also found a cool name, uh, Amilo de Nul. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's French for in the middle of nowhere. How to find a good font for it. Actually, that works. Uh, 
the UI padding. but weird yeah it's a it's a really neat property it's how i do screens as well that's how i get them to glow in the dark and actually look like screens just set light influence to zero i'm gonna make another like wood layer here but um i'll have it i'll have another like cobble layer or i, I guess wood plank layer um let's see this will be for the roof deck i'll give players a nice chill and uh out of the way spot to hang out i never finished this wall let me do that yes i did philosophy <laughs> it's all part of the Yeah, Scorch, I'm aware. I had to put this I had to put chat into panic mode for the first time to do, in order to settle it. I just used that one website that allows you to remove Bola botters. Oh yeah, Ricard. Earlier in the stream, we actually got follow botted. Um, honestly, not that big of a deal considering I can just remove them fast. But uh, I just hadn't seen it since I since before I was a, a Twitch affiliate, so freaking out a little. Now let's get the last wall built. Uh, follow buying is basically where you send hundreds of fake followers to someone in an attempt to either get them banned or just like freak them out. Um, it's pretty scummy and normally you have to pay to do it, which is weird, but essentially um, it, it just spams someone with fake followers. Hundreds at a time. Happens a lot to small streamers like me. Thankfully, we're not helpless. So there's a really good website out there that if you just search remove follow bot Twitch, it'll um, allow you to remove uh, known bot. I'm gonna make this even more glowy. Okay, so now we have the interior of the restaurant ready to be worked on, or coffee shop, or cafe, or whatnot. Um, I'm gonna lower the ceiling a bit so we have room for the roof deck. Actually, I'll lower it about to here. The scale dummy in here. 
that I uh, plan on following. So... Oh, wait. Um, I need to grab something from a different Blender file real quick. Um, it was for a food truck I was working on. Except um, I never actually finished it because I uh, didn't like the way the shading was. But I made this lantern model. So if I go here, turn that off, turn that off, and then rotate you 45 degrees on a certain axis, I think. Um, zero? Let's go! 90. Okay, so if I go here, light bulb, or okay, file export FBX. Uh, lantern, selected objects only, 0.01 scale, export, and then just control Z, launch, save it, exit. Uh, went up two hours? Yeah, I've been working a lot for the past two hours. Oh, another hydrate from Atomic. Ah, I needed that. Um, <clears throat> So let's see if I can get this importer. No mesh importer. Um, greedy objects. Lantern. Lantern model. Full sided. Oh, the. Oh, didn't export the bulb. Shame. Okay, well, I can just make another one on the spot. What does that text on top of the building the dummies and say? Uh Ah Miru de Nul. Uh it it's it's French for uh in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna be the name of the cafe and probably the game as well. This is lantern. Yes, I have been streaming for eight hours. I have done worse. Got the lantern. Let's make you metal. Oh yeah, that that color is fine. Next, we duplicate the part, turn it into an actual part. Um, uh, reset pivot so the handles work properly. This. Yep, I've done a 16-hour stream before. Um, except this actually makes a lot more sense for a 16-hour stream. I didn't know what I was doing for the other 16-hour ones, and so I, I was just doing it for no reason. But this time, I actually have a reason for it, and it's a quite good reason. So let's get a nice warm hue for the lantern. Let's do that, I guess. And spotlight. Or, no, not spotlight. I need a point light. So I can make it warm, warm orange. Increase the range. And now we have a lantern ready to be used to light up this entire cafe. Check the radius, it's 12. So if I do 12, the lights should cover each other almost perfectly. Although, what I'll do instead is move these slightly like such and then increase the uh, light radius a little bit. So let's make that radius a bit a bit bigger. There we go. Now it's gonna leak into here a little bit if I don't put on shadows, so I guess I'll have to do that. Um, I can't just make these float since they're on a 90 degree uh, corner. So I'll put them on both sides. Uh, Okay. 
this, I guess. Yeah, that works. Uh, which part of the building is this going to be? Uh, this is the uh, coffee shop slash cafe side of the building. Gas station's here. Cafe is here. Right, and then I can clone these back here. Rotate. And insert into the wall. Now the edges are lit up. Wonderful. Um, now, what should we do for um, ceiling lighting? I want to do something that isn't just square tiles. Hmm. You can do bar lighting. Um, go on, Atomic. I'll hear you out. Candles on the tables. That sounds cool. Um, I'll have to integrate that. Yeah, first, I'm going to make some ceiling trim. It's always good to have trim. Concrete. I've always wanted to build something super rustic like this. I always like these kind of environments. These have textures on them, don't they? Yep, should clear that. Before I make unnecessary textures. Okay, let's clone this, drag it over. Clone this, drag it over. Hydrate from Wolf. All right. Drops on my shirt. <laughs> So I can raise this up. Or not. Nah. Or can I extend that? Pretty far. And now 
I need to uh, extend these to the top and a little and past the top actually, just so that it uh, looks okay. So let's see. You to here. You to here. You to here. Nope. You to here. Okay. Colors. And I'll add another pillar that's only on the inside. I'll uh, stretch that back to here. And it'll be like a mounting bracket for all the lamps. So, like so. And squish this a little. Do you know how to script? Yep, I know how to script. And I can do a lot more than just scripting. Uh, I can make UI, make music, manage communities, um, make models, uh, build, obviously, because I'm doing that right now. I can do a bunch of other stuff. Oh, Cloud, you finished it. Cool. Wait, did we get another hydrate? No, I already did Scorch. I already got Wolf's hydrate. Nah, don't sweat it. You're good, Scorch. Okay, now we got the little lamp ring. What's the name of the texture plugin you use? Um, I'll just send you the link to it. Going to bed? Well, um, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you, uh, joining in the stream. Uh, it's, it's been great to see you. Um, thanks for hopping in. Trying to learn, but it's hard. Yeah, scripting is hard. Um, it takes practice, though. Just just keep practicing and making stuff, and you'll get the hang of it eventually. All right, see you around, Cloud. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do about interior lighting here. Um, before that, we should probably... Lay out the uh, like barista stand and whatnot. So what we'll do is turn this. Actually, for now I'm gonna set the lighting to like daytime. Actually, nah. What I'll do is I'll just turn up the bright ambient brightness. That help? Oh. Um. How about this value? Yeah. So I'll just set this up for now. Uh, so it's gonna look really weird, but it's just to help me see. Um, okay, so, make the stairwell, this will be the stairs up to the uh, roof deck, it'll be like probably this long, and with that, um, what we can do it. A wall here. That goes there. Here. And then we can make like an arch, kind of. So. Uh, and like this. That works. So rid of this wall. Um, line that up. Now we can put a uh, thing in the middle here. We'll extend to both ends. And now, once I add the rest of the framing, 
This will be the doorway up to the stairs. I'll have to adjust the roof to handle that. That works. Resize Align is so good. It's probably my favorite plugin. 17 viewers. This is probably the most like watch stream that I've done ever. So I am super grateful for that. Your guys' continued support means the world to me. Let's get this scaled up. Adding more pillars. Oh, that's not even, is it? Nah, who cares? Um, so now we can go and uh, make another pillar segment here. Uh, this is where we'll mount the like barista stand. So this is where like all the espresso machines and whatnot will be. So here. Do this. And then um, what we can do is actually take the lamp mounting bracket thing. Why aren't these colored? Oh, it's because the lighting makes them look bright. Okay. Um so we can take this. All right, put that in. Make 90. Up there. Now what we can do, take these lamps, duplicate them, and drag them here so that the edge lighting isn't compromised. And you could put one right here. Hmm. 560 funny coins. I'm assuming you mean the bytes that you earn by watching. I'll call them funny coins though, I won't stop you. Right, as expected. Make this pillar a bit more present. The pillars and the corners of the building. Interior corner, different from the exterior corner. So, go like this. Pillar go up here, and looking look good in here. Thanks, Scorch. You've been stockpiling those for ages now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean... That's what Scorch has been doing since I first started this channel. Trying to get enough uh, bites in order to kill the stream. Uh, yeah, STM? <laughs> uh, hydrate. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. I am now adequately hydrated. I'm glad you guys decided to support my uh, endeavor here in making a game in one day. 
Um, we still have seven and a half hours left, but it feels like no time has passed at all. Because I'm having fun doing this. I haven't had fun making a game in ages. <laughs> Let's see. Then I can just put this up here. Compensate. Thanks for the five bits, the boy who didn't. Your your support is super appreciated. You're feeling better about development? Yeah, I'm glad I feel better about it too. God, how fun it can be sometimes when you don't have to worry about anything. You just build endlessly. <sighs> Okay. Text in the handwritten font? Hmm. Which one was that again? Patrick Hand? Honestly, not bad. Okay, let's set the um, ambient back down to low value. Callum. Um. Ooh. Ooh, that looks very good. Thanks for putting me onto this. Hmm. Oh yeah, look how nice this is. Now that everything's dark, uh, the, the metal looks dark too and it looks nice. Now it's... Yo, Nico! Welcome to the chat. Glad to see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what kind of lighting structure I can use here. So let's start by taking the ceiling trim, dragging it here, like that. All right, thinning it out, making a neon. Get a pretty warm color. Like there's a spider web in every corner. Yeah, fair enough. Astro face reveal? My guy, my face has been public since I started streaming. And that was in like 2017 or something. At least like in total. I've been an affiliate for like a year or two years now. Almost two years. Um, so now what I can do... Oh, and thank you for the follow, Nico. Why is my alert box not showing up? Yeah, you can hear it. It's just, like, not playing anything. Hmm. Guess we'll never know. Now I can add this. Make this super thin. Oh, that reminds me, I never actually advertised this uh, stream in Nico. I only did it in uh, ES. Um, what's the alert box? Basically, it's like a thing that shows up like right here that like says whenever I uh, like get a follower or sub or something like that. Um, yeah, Nico, I am making a vibe game, which is a gas, which is a gas station and a uh, cafe strapped to it. Anyways, let's get this lighting fixture set up. Fatigue. Not British STM. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this point light, flap it in here, convert it to a surface light. 
now. On the bottom. But now what I can do is I can group this. Bar light. Now I have this. Yo! Thank you for the tier one sub, uh, the boy who didn't. That is super appreciated. Okay, I hope the stream label updates. <laughs> This lighting here. And then we'll have to adjust it for here. So. Bar lighting, yeah. I want to adjust this though. Width may be uneven, but I want the entire like restaurant to be covered or coffee shop, or cafe, god, whatever you want to call it. Um, yep, you are one of the first ten people to subscribe to my channel. That is very swag. Else. Now I can actually start building the cafe. Okay. How much time do we have left? Seven and a half hours. That is more than enough time to get everything done. Hey. Okay. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna need to put some stuff around back eventually. Yeah, there's gonna be a dumpster. Probably around back in the uh, office area. Oh, the office area! I need to make these! Ah! Okay, yeah, basically these two are restrooms. This one's an office for the gas station. Streaming for almost nine hours? Cool! Feel great. that I sub you need to kill? Why, why do I need to kill? <laughs> I don't want to kill. On. Yeah, that could be cool. Just making a bunch of games for fun. I won't have the time to do this every week, though. I mean, it would be cool, but like, I still have school and other commitments like that. Yeah, I tried to get people to do stuff like this for Astral Central 22 for the uh, game jam, but like, no one except STM did it. So. I, I thought it was just a bad idea. Yeah. 
Well, if y'all want an Astra X2 or Astral Industries game jam, please let me know and I'm totally willing to host one. It'll be later down the road though. Obviously it wouldn't be today or whatnot. Light on, I can't see here. I'm gonna have to union that or something. I want that angle, it's just gonna look weird. Okay, let's add a line. Yeah, that's totally fine, Ricard. I mean, game jams are about having fun. If you aren't having fun building the game, then don't participate. Besides the point. I'm also going to make a uh, internal pillar here. Each of these. an external and an internal pillar for each of these. This one, I can just make this the edge. Perfect. Pillars, pillars, and more pillars. Boy, do I love myself some pillars. Going all the way into the wall. Fixed. The light off. Yeah, that looks good. This will be the uh, barista desk. <laughs> Could be a good video series. <laughs> yeah, if I want to spend like 16 hours editing. I mean. Hmm. Uh, hardest part would be the desk. Storm, yeah. I mean, it again, it's all just down to how much time and time and practice you put into it, so. Heck! <laughs> Alright, chat. Let's do some stretches. Okay. Much better. Neck is starting to get sore. I'm fine though, don't worry about me. Okay, so we have our barista stand. Um, I'm gonna extend this out by 0.2 studs to give the baristas a bit more room to work. And also a mount like this register onto. Let's union that. Get rid of the corner Z clipping. This decay feels too bright or too unsaturated. Yeah, that works. Increase the density a bit and then the Way to increase the brightness of the stars. Hmm. 
Could just get a custom skybox. Have Atmos. Filters. None. Um. None. Like nighttime setting. Well, this is just like in space and it has edges. I'm not using these. Oh, wait, y'all can't see this window, can you? Hmm. So it's just like a regular night sky. Yeah, Atmos doesn't have any good, like, nighttime skyboxes. I think we're gonna just have to use this one for now. Did you just spend like $52 on bits? Holy crap, Ricard. <laughs> In your money, I guess. Time it gets better and better. Well, I mean, hi, well, that's, that's just how progress works, is it not? Oh, you just converted the bytes of- wait. Converted the bytes of bits. Oh! Oh, I meant you thought like Twitch bits. Wait, yeah, I was about to say you you can't just like convert your channel by channel points to bits. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be that would be nuts if you could though. Spend your money on a website. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> okay, let's add the sign. This will be the uh, menu. Alright, let's see. Nice surface GUI. Direction right side. But influence, let's do like point three. No, point seven. That way it's like not completely like whack, but it's still somewhat visible even in low lighting. One zeros. One zero. Let's increase that pixel to set to like a hundred. Mm, I can make this like point two zero. Um, oh. Um, what do you think? Mm, text color. Font. Text scaled. Another hydrate. <sighs> Done. It's complete. I'm gonna go check up on what designs y'all have made for like cereal and shit bags. We got med kits, um, ratios, uh, literally just Jenga. Um, H2O cereal, radios, um, something I can't read because it's on a transparent background by STM, Weedabricks, Freddy Sticks, other stuff. Pretty cool. Okay. Hmm. Now, let's get a menu made. I need a different font I could use for the menu itself. 
Me too could work. Let's do, um, all right, guys, I need you to list off some types of coffee. I, I don't know. I don't know. Paramount? Nature works better. It's a bit more readable. Okay. I'm just going to look up a coffee shop menu. Mm. Yeah, yeah, water. There will be water. Um. And uh, I need to put some UI padding on this. So let's enable rich text. Increase the size so slightly. Now I don't actually know how much my like, coffee is supposed to cost, so um Hope I remember this tag correctly. Nope, okay. Um There we go. I'll just skip the rich text entire actually. Maybe I'll do twenty seven. I'll put another face there. Separate it a bit better. Now I can make this like one five. We have an Americano. Um, I'm just gonna look up types of coffee poster. Cause I, I remember there being some. Okay, we got a little, there's actually way more coffee types than I thought there were. Holy crap, okay. Um, so, um, an Americano is just coffee and water. Um, we have an, we have espresso, which is just coffee. So I guess that'll be cheaper. Um, and we have Oh, mocha. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say we should we should probably have a mocha. Um, and a mocha is coffee, whipped cream, milk, and chocolate. Pretty cool sounding drink. So it'll probably be like three fifty since it has chocolate or whatnot. Um, so then. Point six five. Um, yes, Mocha. I have a poster pulled up on my other monitor right now that that shows all the different types of coffees because I have no idea about what coffee kinds there are. Um. All right. Let's do a cappuccino next. Uh, let's make that three dollars. Then we can do eight. Um, let's have a um, oh oh. I have lost connection to the server. Uh, reconnect. What the? I just got banned. What? Wait, wait, what? Turn that open place, user is banned. Wait, what?
You have got to be kidding me. Okay, I got a warning for one of the chip bag labels. Um... Which one was it? Um... Five... It was the jumps. That's when Blaze, you got me warned. <laughs> I have had my account for almost 10 years, and that is the first time I have ever been warned. Moderator note, please do not upload personal photos to Roblox. The dude, the stock image dude, was apparently a personal photo. Well, reactivate my account. Let's try that again. Yeah, fair enough. At least it wasn't a ban. Well, um, adios. Um, Asset manager, where's my asset manager? Hmm. Right, fair enough. All right, from now on, uh, you guys have to upload the image so I don't get banned for y'all's images. <laughs> okay, now get back to work well honestly I'm kind of glad that I caught the first time I was ever warned on stream like yeah it sucks but like at least I caught it on stream Right, no no photos of actual humans on anything now. Okay. Actually make this point seven and then right align it. And then we'll center align these five. And then... then what we could do is just make these like I mean, five zero or no point oh two zero and the bottom five um six, eight. <laughs> ah, rip. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get some more types of coffee. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Next, uh, we have a latte, which is milk broth, milk, and coffee. I'll just do like two fifty. Um. And we can do a um, macchiato. Chocolate and food. Yeah, I'll, I'll save the right side for like food and snacks and stuff. Um, uh, okay, macchiato. Let's do three dollars. Sure. Um, then we can do, um, any other like really popular type of coffee I'm, miss I'm, I'm missing. Flat white slash Irish. All right, I'll list flat white. Mm. 
So a flat white is steamed milk and espresso. So yeah, two dollars is good for that. Actually, no, espresso is just two dollars. It should be like two point five or something. Oh, I just realized cappuccino was marked twice on all of these. Whoops. Um, let's fix this one first. Just have a frap. Make this like five dollars since it has ice cream in it. Um, um, okay, I'll make this one the uh, Irish. Oh, that has a whiskey in it. Um, probably shouldn't do that. I'll get warned again for alcohol references. <laughs> um, since Frappuccino actually isn't on here, um, I'll just mark that for. Then we can start like adding other stuff. So let's do water. Or actually, no, I'll do hot cocoa first. Hot cocoa for $4. And for the last five. So these will be like other stuff. So let's start with this. Water. Let's do like one buck. This game is so problematic. The game in question. <laughs> oh my god, I got I got warned for a stock image. <laughs> there is no way I got warned for a stock image. Ugh. So we got water. Um, I guess I could do some of the sodas from the gas station. So. Cappuccino is trademarked. There is no shot that that's trademarked. Oh. Oh, it totally is. Okay, I gotta change that then. Hang on. Um, I'll make this, um... What should I make this? What about a caramel mocha? Or, hmm. Caramel latte? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Um. What else could we have here? Um. We do soda for two duck two bucks. Um. Now let's have snacks. So, what kind of food should we have here? Um. Pretzels could be good. Pretzel. Do um, three dollars on that. Cake pops could be cool. Um, cake pop. Pops and then. I guess just crackers or something. Um, actually, I could just have chocolate. Just straight up chocolate. Like have some chocolate bars or something. is looking great okay so we have our menu now 
I'm saving this clip. Oh. I have lost connection to the server. Uh reconnect. What the I just got banned. Sorry, I'm just listening over the clip. <laughs> no 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 no. I, I I didn't get banned again. I'm just listening to the clip. <laughs> I promise you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to play to the audio over stream. Whoops. <laughs> uh Sending that to my brother. <laughs> Anyways, um, we should probably have the coffee making equipment here. Um, I need to pull up like what a barista stain looks like. Uh, barista equipment. I'm gonna have to grab the uh, Coffee Tron 9000 from uh, ERH, aren't I? Mm. Okay, but before I do that, I'm gonna make a, a desk to put all this on. So I can literally just like grab this, pop it there, scale it up. It's not clipping into here, right? Nope. Okay. Um, there. Then we can add a um, thing here. To here and you into here. Now we can resize align this. All lined up. model he made <laughs> well i'm for the for the scripting i do plan on taking some of my uh, other like models and stuff uh, yo thanks for the 100 bits boy you didn't you just keep on giving bits for like no reason why 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 do you keep doing that <laughs> okay you need to be set to precise convex decomposition uh welcome back ricard um So we have our barista's desk or table now. So well, I'm going to go into ERH and grab a couple things. For those who don't know, ERH stands for Energy Research Hub. It's a project that me and a couple others are currently working on for the Group Astral Industries. There's some props in there that I kind of want to use here, including a coffee maker and uh, a couple of very important scripts. So I'm going to quickly pull that up. Uh, great. Looks like uh, Studio is forcing me to close, forcing me to close this before I can open your H two. So just hang tight, chat. Um, okay. Look, guys, I'm not warned anymore. <laughs> Don't leak anything, my guy. It's my game. If I want to leak anything, I can. So I need. I need this entire cup stack, and I need the Copytron 9000. Control C. Um, a macrowave. There's a microwave here. I don't know if we have a macrowave. I think the reactor would count as a macrowave. Um, okay, so we'll see. Close place. Back here. And OB. And they're way up here. Okay. Ooh, why is it laggy all of a sudden? 
moving like that entire stack of cups. So we've got the uh, Coffee Tron 9000. Got a lot of cups. Nano Wave. <laughs> Hmm. So basically, um, you would come up to here, you would say, uh, hi, I'd like to get, like, an espresso or something. And then, Barista comes over, uh, makes the drink in the coffee tron, gets it over, comes a K or something. So, yep. Hmm. I need a cash register. Oh, I can just use one of the freaking cash register iPad things that are new or something. Hmm. Should I grab the prox prompt? Ah, fair point. Hmm. Although, what would really use prox prompts here? I mean, maybe grabbing chips or something? I don't really plan on having like a shop system. I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. There will probably be better stuff for it. It should be metal. Much better. Plan on getting this game out tonight. And dust particles under light sources? Ooh. Ooh, that sounds cool. Okay. Um, the thing is, I don't actually have like a smoke or dust particle. So, uh... Mm -hmm. I remember my past dust particles? Um, if you want to like send me an RBXM, I'm good with that. Hmm. There's your hydrate. So if you could mark that one off for me. Um, okay, so barista desk is pretty much done. Um, I could probably put like an oven here or something. Uh, DMs. Hang tight, I just gotta send something. Alright, uh, JJ, Highwell has kind of taken it up to keep me hydrated uh, through the power of stream like rewards, so uh, yeah, that's just kind of his thing. <laughs> okay, I should actually like make the tables and stuff for people to sit at. Okay. Hey, okay, but first, but first, I need to stop getting distracted. Cash register time. Okay, we're going back to Blender. I can't close Notepad for some reason. Oh, wait. Uh, OBS is always on top for some reason. Uh, don't say, okay. Let's go to Blender. All right, change the capture. Here we go. Let's make a cash register. Um, pull up a reference image. Starts with a cube. Oh no. Oh no, Ricard. Oh boy. Oh, I have been streaming for 
nine hours. And it doesn't feel like I've been streaming for nine hours. Like, it really doesn't. Scale. Like, normally if I stream for this long, it, I get, like, really tired this, this far in. But I, I haven't. Hello there. Hello there. So now let's... And this will be the uh, drawer. Um, this will be like the uh, little key lock for it. Um, this is like where the actual cash gets kept. So if you want to get into trouble with the police, try breaking this. Sending the FBX? Uh, you mean RBXM or an FBX? Hmm. Alright, yeah, go get some food, Uterson. I'm not the only one here who needs it. Okay. Happens here. Add a loop cut. Rip this up. Go here. Bevel this. You mm -hmm. already know. Shade smooth auto smooth 45. Uh, nah. Actually, yeah, 45 is fine. Just mark these edges to sharp. So right here is like a keyboard, right? So what I can do is subdivide this a bunch of times. Uh, and then select. Um, select. Nope, nope. Um, okay, so what I can do. Nope, come on. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to have to do this. Shit, no, what am I doing? Okay. So then what I can do is... You know, I don't need to uh, subdivide that many times. Yeah, that's probably good. I can inset these individually. And then... Alt-E extrude faces along normals. Now I have a bunch of buttons. Probably more buttons than you'd ever need on a cash register, but uh, good enough. Yes, indeed, this is a cash register. Not so many buttons because I didn't feel like making an actual like decent amount of buttons. Cry about it. Um, let's see. Screen here. And then the um, seat dispenser, right there. Let's bevel this out. And I guess we can bevel this out. Oh, that should be like that to try to keep the same resolution. Bevel this. thing about this is that this needs to be uh completely flat actually no i can just make this uh not display anything okay now what i can do cylinder do 14 births Put over here do the funny Put over here and then like
Right. I, I, I thought about doing like the iPad touch screen thing, but like, I feel like this would like be more rustic and look cooler. Okay, now we got this screen here. Um, I can do it. this. Then I can rotate this slight, r slightly. Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll keep this uh, aligned and then rotate it in studio. Bring that back. Screen. Other screen. Uh, drop box. Dim. Um, actually, no. What I'll do is, um, I want to select everything except the top. So, actually, wait, no. What I can do is select, uh, select, select, um, similar coplanar. Hmm. Yeah, that seemed to select everything there. So now what I can do is deselect all of these. It may take a while. I have done this to myself. There we go. Now we can separate these and give the uh, button backboard a different color. Or base. This is the key lock. Hmm. And then we have the uh, beat, which instead of beat, I'll just uh, have a base. Then what I can do is finish it off. Just double these faces. Actually, while I'm doing that, uh, these faces. Again, apply scale so the bevel's even. There we go. That looks better. Bevel these faces too. Uh, I just like these. Okay, that makes weird errors. Okay, let's not do that then. Z. You can inset them. And then GY. Let's give it a bit more shape, you know. And then we can do the same over here. Oh, hmm. Add a little bit. Inset. GY. Eh, good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. Get you exported. Okay, back to studio we go. Let's get this imported. Yeah. Hash register. Okay, everything looks good. Hmm. Didn't realize that would be an issue. I'll have to fix that. Anchored, yes. Um, 
that thing looks out of line. All right, here's the cash register. A bit bigger than I thought. We're gonna have to expand the desk, desk space. So I need to separate, separate, and then expand this. Which is probably needed to be done anyways. Um, then we can expand this and this. Um, try that actually collapses that. Yep, yep, yep. Union. Union. Uh, precise convex C comp. And now we have cash register ready to go. So, let's get this ready to go. So if I quickly turn this and I can just move this up to rid of that issue. Turn that off so I can find move. There we go. Let's see, so we have screen and other screen. Those black. <clears throat> Let's make these um, metal. And that color is fine. Ooh, look how shiny it is. Got yeah, here and the keyboard base. We can make those smooth plastic and then have them be dark. And then this can be uh, just plastic. Seems good. All right, you have a very shiny cash register. It's in chrome. Coffee Tron, got some cups, got a menu. I think this place is good to go. Except there's no oven. We, we need to make an oven eventually. Um, first. We need to actually make this into a cafe by putting tables in it. So, let's make some tables. So, I'll have some booths over here. So, let's make some booths. All right, all I'm gonna say is that your workspace organization is amazing. Um, well, I appreciate it, except that's kind of incorrect. I haven't been organizing lately. Uh, just give me a second to do that. So I can just do a cluster coffee machine. Install props. And then lanterns. I guess they can go in the building. Cheese meshes can go in the props. Yeah, rename these to just cheese. A lantern in building, I mean, cashier and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep myself organized. Another hydrate from wool. Hmm. Ah. Ten and a half hours already. We're actually running, starting to run out of time. Okay. Let's get cracking. Oh, booth. this and, like raised off the ground a little to be able to fit two people comfortably on each bench like this fit comfortably low it's just gonna be like the layout I'm not gonna use this as a floor thing Okay, first off, bench slash separator. So, start with a gray wood plank base, followed into a wooden one. So, let's grab this. Textures. Plastic. At the wood board. And from there, that's not clipping. We can make the actual like bench part of it. So we can this. 
about yay height, it's probably fine. Um, and then we can have like a cobblestone slab and stuff. And I'll round it off. Try to try the base for the seats. Next we can add to there, Should line it up, actually, yeah. no, not that, here to here, there, perfect, okay, so now we got the seats in the base, so now I could extend this out a bit more just to give it some more personality, um, and I'll add an extra like cobblestone slab on the top here. Again, add a little bit of personality, but also to um kind of give the headboard like a finished look. Now we can take this, clone it, flip it. I'll make these into models real quick, so they're easier to work with. And fitting two people comfortably either side. We'll use these as animation dummies for the sit animations as well. Okay. And so now we need a table, so let's get a table. slab sticking out of the wall mm have -hmm. like a support beneath and have a wooden tabletop Again, this plastic material and paste textures. And boom, table. Not the most impressive thing in the world, but it's a table. Now we can select this, like this, like this, and group it. Now Using this size, 12.318, we can take this entire big model and stack it. And some booths. And um, I'll leave this space here. Maybe I can put like a trash can here or something. All nice and stacked. Plants. Oh, right. Yeah, we definitely need plants in here. <laughs> Something feels off about the lighting. Seems too bright. Set the brightness to negative values? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Exposure compensation. Ooh. Oh yeah, that helps. Darken up the environment a little. Make it a bit more spooky, almost. Let's make this seven, but still visible. Another hydrate, okay. 
Hmm. Yeah, lighting is super hard. Okay. I'm gonna check out this dust particle RBXM. Okay. I'm on top. Particle parts. Ooh. So you just put this underneath a light. Making sure can't slide off. Those off. Anchor true. Transparency one. Whoa. That's good enough. On these. Under here. Sorry if you're experiencing FPS drops. My uh, network appears to be a little unstable right now. make the uh, roof deck full and the map. Such, and then turn my camera light on so I can actually see. The virtual and Half-Life 2 SFM reference. Mm, Easter eggs could be interesting. I'm not gonna like add them yet, but let's have. Furnace to how people can build, build detailed things. I honestly don't think this is that detailed. Like, maybe it's just the fact that I'm used to seeing so many really, really good builds from people, but I genuinely don't think this is that detailed. Okay, y'all freaking uh, half life to SFM video. I, I know which one you're talking about. I play it here, I'm gonna get a DMCA strike. Uh. Now, it is time for me to face my arch nemesis. Or ar yeah, arch nemesis when it comes to building stairs. I suck at stairs so much, I don't get it. Okay. Now, I have an idea for what I'm gonna do for the stairs. Now 
Now the golden rule for stairs is never to make the, each step length above 0.7 studs. So if I do this, I can go 0 0.688, whatever this is divided by two, so I guess 0 0.344. So what we can do is um so i equals game hit service selection get one dot and then clone it um i dot position equal um equals i dot pos position plus vector three dot new and we are going in the positive z um and then 0.344 times 3 and then we are going up um, once so 0.344 in the y direction and then i, I dot parent equals workspace dot building so now i'm just use this to build my stairs. I'm using code to make my life easier. It's such a good thing to be able to know. Not just for scripting, but for building too. Using scripting in building. Oh, that's not gonna reach, is it? Yeah, that totally isn't reaching. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna make this easier. Um, for x equals one, let's do ten steps. Do and x x. Um. Okay, so let's try this. Almost reaches? I think that could work. Um, hmm. I just add a couple more steps. Yeah, that could work. Now I just need to um, move something. Move it back so that the... Uh, undo doesn't delete all of this and then I can get to work on resizing and stylizing all of these all right so we have our stairs I believe that's 37 stairs, 35, okay. Um, can I like move this back so that that final step has a bit more significance? Yeah, okay. Um, I have to move that lamp. No. These have three X, let's make it a bit easier. Into the wall, put that into the wall, and then both shift C. So now there's duplicates of all of these. All right, just like this, and then we go through one, two, five. Raise all of these up. And group them so we have access to them. We color them for the wood. Oh, 
Studio, please. Studio, don't crash on me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and now get this, and then everything inside stair model. So get this, and then plastic. I got wood steps. I like close up at the top here. I need to open this up a little. So this right here is the concrete trim in the wall. Um, this needs to be readjusted, so duplicate. So from here onto here, and then touch. You can have it like scaled out like such, but then as soon as you enter the staircase, it falls back to let you walk up the stairs. Okay. Mm. Yeah, ramps are pretty cool. I'll probably just Turn off collision on all of these and then just have a ramp. Okay, chat, I need to be right back. Hang tight. All right, chat, we're back. Now, where were we? Stairs. Um, should work. Um, now for the roof deck, we're gonna have like a uh, thing here to prevent people from like walking off the edge. Would not be very good. Um, and then we could have a. Uh, Wall going going around the edge. all nice and resized. Seems fairly accurate. Stand this pillar up. Let's get rid of this lamp. Start placing lamps at
I never thought I'd be using wooden planks as a brick material, but here we are. Hello, our um, Alparslan four hundred four. Welcome to the welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Let's get these lanterns in place. Monolith. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty monolithic. I don't blame you for saying that. Five. Should work. Not here. This has aligned that. Uh, what game are you doing right now? I am currently building a project, which uh, its tentative title is Amelieu de Nul. Uh, basically, it's a, a gas station strapped to a cafe in the in the middle of nowhere. I think it's like a vibe game or something. Currently working on the cafe side of it. Um, the gas station is. Uh, well, let me turn off my camera light. It's the gas station side. Um, currently being worked on still. Um, still got to build some stuff. And that timer you see up here is how long I have to finish this. Because I want to have this out tonight. Bring this back here. Let me bring the pillar up. All these pillows up, actually. Give this a bit more structure. Alrighty. Back this way a little. All right, that's that. It's a little. Yeah, I'm good for that. So now I can add a uh, concrete or te in technicality wood plank wall, but it looks like bricks, which is why I'm using it. That. All the way. Okay, grab that. All right, there's the uh, walls done. Um, now to finish the, uh, I'm gonna put a railing here so people don't fall down the stairs. Let's just have that up here. And then just raise it up. And we can take this right here. Such allowing us to have a top deck for the railing. It's like the battle pass. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. You insist, I'll take your word on it.
We've got this sweet railing here. Now I can use this. Oh. This is a special type of post. It's going to be a uh, double sided post. Like the lantern, twice the fun. Turns on this side. Hello, JT Games a lot. Hell. Oh, hello. Okay. Whew, I was about to say, uh, that's one hell of an introduction. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the stream. It's nice to see you here. <sighs> Picard, what you do with your bites is up to you. I right, got another hydrate from Mocha. Uh, Out of water now. Mm. Uh, JT Games, uh, what are you offering to show me here? I'm kind of on a timer right now, so can't exactly go off for too long. Mm. I'll put tables up here whenever I get them built. First, I need to build more tables. So we have these booths here. Um, now we need like other kinds of tables. So take this, duplicate three groups on me. Now we can just set that to one stud and rotate it like such. Um, basically just have a different kind of table here. And in this corner over here, um, I'm going to put like a communal area. So there'll be like a bench, a fireplace, um, other stuff. Can't hear anything. Um, you can't hear me talking? Here, I'll just respond. Shadow feels a little harsh. Maybe the lighting here in the shadow shop office.
I need to make some chairs now. Um, so it's chair time. Let's make some chairs. Scale dummy in here. How did you get this design? Um, I made it. All of this is completely made from scratch. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed with myself for it too. If I'm gonna put like a carpet texture here so the seat looks like comfy to sit on. And then just a, like a slab of stone. Um, now I should add a uh, back to the chair. I'm gonna put legs on it so. Let's see, and then. Okay, right, so we're here. Alright, and now for the chair back, which means I should probably move these back so I can move the chair back. Um, um, hmm. Okay, I have an idea. Make it like a hollow back chair. be completely hollow back. Just have like an indent in the middle here. Help us like giving the chair a bit more shape. Oh, hydrate except I'm out of water. Um Card, I will get to that eventually. <laughs> By eventually, I mean it's at, sometime within the next like 10 minutes or so. Oh. Actually, reduce the size of this. Then, what we can do is make these like extrude up more. Let's make it look like a like muscle rock structure kind of vibe. These need to be separated. So now I just have the chair. And add like feet to it. I'm gonna set that pivot and move the dummy out of the way for a minute. Let the camera like go. Not bad. Not at all. Um, let's add some to the chair. Just like that. Ooh, yay! Ten hour mark. <laughs> ah, we did a chat. All right. Which means we only have about six hours left to go until I have to publish this game, no matter what state it's in.
I think that's good for a chair. You're so patient. Um, I mean, I'm kind of just in a flow state right now. I mean, patience is one word for it, I guess, but really, I'm just, like, focused. So we have chairs now, and they have seats. So it'll be four people to a table. Um, these tables will need to be moved a bit back. Check it out. Um, uh, the song's Fire, what's the name? Uh, the one that was just playing is um, On the Wharf uh, by Stream Beats by Harris Heller. No worries. Some chairs. Turn the camera light off, see how that looks. Oh yeah. patience with, with building yeah i mean that's really one of the core values of building just patience i mean you can't really build without it since you just get annoyed and quit Alright chat, well, I am going to have to go for probably like 20-30 minutes. Um, hang on. Right, um, so I will be back then. Uh, so for now, just chill out, relax, and enjoy yourselves. I will be back.
Ah, okay. Hello, chat. I am back from my dinner. It was very good. It was like chicken enchiladas or something. Oh, the hydrates. As soon as I got back, too. Okay. Let me grab some water and be back. Sorry. Okay, okay, for real this time. Here, water. Hmm. Okay, there's for cards, hydrate. There's Mocha's first hydrate. And there's Mocha's second hydrate. My debt has been fulfilled. Okay, now where were we? Right, we were uh, making this part of the roof deck. this row here. Alright, well, now chat. Um, although, um, the, I, it says I have like almost six hours left. Realistically, I probably only have like four, four and a half, because I, I I have school tomorrow. I can't stay up all night, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get this done as soon as I can. Okay, roof deck. Whoa. All right. Well, um, I have a corner pillar here. I do. Let me all the way up. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so be it, STM. Okay, so before anything else, I'm gonna make seeds here. already facing the right direction. Sweet. So now I can delete these. So it's 4.318. Duplicate, duplicate. Perfect, okay. 
and you're able to actually sit on these benches, which is great. So this is happening, which is not great. Let's fix that. Hello, Ederson. Welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> it's your movie? Uh, well, I mean, if you want to get real technical about it, you could consider it a documentary for how this game was made. So I need to turn the music down, hang on. There we go. Now it's just a matter of signing. Yeah. Add some pillars. Never go with too many pillars. Oh. Wrong part. <laughs> If I don't talk as much, it's because I need to focus on getting things done. I'm starting to run out of time. I've got the roof deck seating. Um, Roblox Studio could be compared to The Sims in a way, but I don't see it like that.
heard Moon Knight is pretty good. I don't really watch shows, though. Like, it may seem weird, I just don't use streaming services. I got the uh, roof deck. I guess pavilion ready. The roof on that. Okay, sorry about that brief network drop. I don't know what happened there. Um. Should put my camera light up there. There. Um. Okay, I'm gonna take your idea about putting candles on the tables, or someone said that earlier. I don't know who it was. Yeah, those are called fairy lights. I could do those. Hmm. See if I have the time for them. Okay, these need to be metal. about the stair banister. I'm assuming you mean this as the banister, but yeah, they could like be attached to uh, like the edges of the thing, the walls, I guess. Um, quickly add a, uh, maybe not that big. Um, base and then Something to, um... Yes, I'm not building on scale right now, and it is because I am trying to uh, get this, like, made relatively on time. So, let's get an attachment in here. Wow, that's big. Okay, um... Oh, I placed it perfectly. Wonderful. So... Vertical emitter... Not a flame. Um, there's that speed. Let's go zero. Size one. Influence zero. Light emission one. Color. Oh. So, get a uh, nice warm flame. I'm gonna need to change this. So, um, if anyone has like a good flame texture, uh, please let me know. Particles good. Reload. 
Let's create like new one. Let's see what that looks like. Quick to this one just so we get it to restart. Flame texture. Alright, take your word for it. Cool. Now I need to uh, actually make the speed like person slightly small so that it rises up a little. Looks pretty good. I need to make this like not neon. It doesn't appear as bright. Point light. Warm candlelight glow. Flicker, yeah, I was thinking of Flicker. You make how to make a good telephone mesh. Use references. I don't know how to make that mesh spe specifically. Just use references. Yeah, let's add a. Um, actually, no. I'll make a collection service script for it. Tag editor. Tag editor. Tag editor. Here. Okay. Handle. Handle. Um, rename. Handle. And I'll make a script that handles all those. All right, get these candles going. Now the tables are candle lit. Pretty cool. With floating candles. Oh, thank you. I probably wouldn't have noticed that until play testing. <laughs> okay, so we have lanterns. We have can. Candles, at the gas station lights. Let's get this interior finished. Um, I'm gonna make this like community space real quick. Let's get this done. It's gonna be like a carpeted area. So now let's get rid of all these textures, fabric, and then material, carpets, and let's go with a fine carpet. Darker brown. I'm gonna have a campfire. I don't know why, I just think it would be cool. <laughs> We'd have like seats around it, be able to re relax in. So oh, let's build a campfire.
here. Just forward a bit. Make it a bit more believable. Alright, so now we have this. Put a piece of glass over it. Can't jump in the campfire. Metal. Transparency, like really high. And then we can put a uh, metal texture on it. I know what kind of texture I want on it. I just need to find it. This. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now firewood. At least some kind of wood. bigger version of the flame particle once I uh, get the rest of this wood set up. Good enough. Um, now let's put an attachment. This attachment built. Attachment is where the flame will spawn from. Probably have a couple of them. I have to get this particle emitter. Now. Be locked apart so I can move it. Okay, let me make like a like an emission box for this so that it has a like a variety of places to emit from. with the size. Turn to gray. 
those turning into smoke. I feel like this texture should work fine. Cranks a raid and um Nice roaring fire. Spruce up the uh, chimney a bit. Transparency at the end. I'll make the uh, smoke transition a little early. Although the light emission basically makes it disappear whenever it turns gray. Some rotation. Also, if you look at it from the side, it does kind of peek out. Which I can really do about that. that then. Go straight through a lantern. Uh, I could just move the lantern. Mm -hmm. No, that, that won't look right. Let's extend it up to this level and then um, leave it, I guess. We out of time. Okay, so uh, okay, now I need to add like Pouches or something here. Uh, what should we put here? Interesting. Hmm. 
Beanbags, yes, beanbags. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. I just couldn't remember. Trying to see if any of these actually have like decent meshes. Okay, that one's got that one got moderated. This one, okay, could work with it. This one, ah. Okay, we'll go with this one. That's a huge beanbag. Hang on. Anything else? I need to go into game settings. Avatar. Lock to R15. Okay, that's on my default. Now what I can do here is in properties, double-sided true fabric. Round up the size values. Uh, Three point seven two point two seven. Let's make this a decent color. I think the default fabric material is good enough for that. Call you bean bag seat inside of it. Oh. Make sure that's facing the correct direction. Yep. Okay. Just testing out right here. Both of these. Anchor true. Can't collide true. Okay. The back here. I can use my uh, chair tester plugin. This, I think. Even in the default sitting animation, it fits perfectly. Yeah, I've seen your serial designs, um, at least some of them. If you've uploaded any ones like recently, then I may not have seen them. Huh. Did you do that, Black Magic? Uh, it's a plugin called Seat Previewer. just have it be any kind so I guess manly face and then you have different arthro rigs so yeah it works perfectly okay use the I use the avatar okay okay you can also preview animations um you can need the link sure I'll see if I can get it to you There you go. Take that out of the way. Transparency one. Now that we know that the beanbag works, let's duplicate it. The beanbags around the fireplace. Change up the colors, some of them. This one darker. This one lighter. Let me see if I can find like a audio higher. Here. 
Oops. It's been like three. Fifteen. Eight. No, sorry. Um, Basically, that just makes the fire crackle a bit. It's seven thirty. Okay, okay. Um, Be the chill area. The bean bags around the fireplace. Just with a carpet. Back a little. We'll add more bean bags, but um, they'll be like in a circle or something. Eight percent of the place done. Yeah, I, I hope I do. These in like chairs, I guess. Coffee tables could probably be useful in a, especially in a, you know, a coffee shop, but... Mm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, those are good. Get rid of the dummies. Although, I'll probably design a cashier. Or a barista. Um, cashier for the gas station, barista for the coffee shop. Um, quickly change the game name. Oh, come on! <laughs> really? I didn't get through moderation. Really hoping that would get through moderation. I do this for the work. No. Hang. They don't like French. They don't like French. It's literally just French for in the middle of nowhere. Ah. I'll just put in the middle of nowhere. Let's save that. Okay, now. 
Let's make a list. Let's make a list of what needs to be done before we can release. So, um, okay, scripting, scripting. Um, we need to do the doors. Um, please, is it like a C animation or something? Um, scripting doors. Um, Oh wait, we need to keep building this. Crap, okay. Um yeah, interactables. Okay, building. Um gas station office slash restrooms. Um and then uh what else needs to be built? I guess the rest of these shelves. Um gas station stock shelves. And then something to fill the uh, cold food section. Cold item section. Okay, um... Other. NPC design. Um, NPC animations. Uh, oh, and a border wall. Um... Border wall for players. Where's the spawn location? It's right here. Move it up to. Oh, and we need to build a lot. Hmm. Alright, there's your spawn location. Fair, fair enough, JJ. Um, hmm. Okay, idea. Instead of having to like actually build the back end of the shop, why don't we just like put an invisible border wall and then people can only just look and see nothing. So there's nothing back here anyways. It's in the middle of nowhere. Actually, no, that seems cheap. I want them to be able to go back here. Um, Alright, let's get some light up in here. It's gonna look really weird. It looks like we're in Bikini Bottom or something, but like... Just for the short term. Dummy back here. Yeah, sixteen studs seems like enough. Centric infrastructure. Woo! Uh. spaces. I do need a border wall though. Um, I just can't like go beyond the limits of the map. 
So I'll do here. Do point eight neon, and then like a bright cyan for testing purposes. Um, On a roof too, just in case. Game on a force. Um, because gas station cooler in desert. Because yes. Um. Let's come border wall. Uh, make sure you can't collide an anchor. Yep. Lock seeds for good measure. Let's see. Uh, night ambience. Can't spell. Listen. Yeah, that's some nighttime ambience, all right. Let's quickly get this organized. Oh. Oh, right. You are totally right, Mocha. Um, first, at ambience. Playing. Looks like I just make this cover the whole roof. Uh, happy puppy. Uh, hello. Um, this is a uh, challenge I'm making. Uh, basically, I have to make this entire game in 16 hours, and it, think of it as like a cafe mixed with a gas station. It's like a vibe game. Uh, I'm current. I, I'm messing with the lighting right now, so this isn't what the game's supposed to look like. Um, yeah, we're getting relatively close to finishing. Do this, and yeah, this actually looks really good. Um, it's like a roof thing for the roof deck. Now we have the downstairs and an upstairs area. Lots of places to chill. And okay, now, um, else, what else? Just expand this a tiny bit. Okay, where's my notepad list? Okay, scripting, 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 scripting. Okay, let's reset the lighting. Um, ambient pitch black time zero. Something else shouldn't be that bright. Okay, it's slowly darkening as the uh, lighting probes adjust. Look at that! That is beautiful! Okay. Um, I need to go into a different project of mine to grab some scripts. So, hang tight. Now let me uh, put the uh, music back on. Okay. Lovely lighting. Thank you! Alright, so I need to grab some modules from here. Um, being Astro Tween. Um, thank you for the follow, Huffy Puppy. Super appreciated. Zone Plus. 
don't think I don't I don't think I need either of those. So then I can go to starter player, starter player scripts, uh, module local sport, Asher tween local, control C, place back into the middle of nowhere. Now, chat, remember, this game will be out tonight. Um, as soon as I finish it, it will be published in, in public on my profile. Um, what are those uh, modules? Okay, um, well, let me paste them first. Okay, so, Astra Tween is my custom client tweening module. Uh, basically, it makes animations butter smooth. Oh, EOSS Raptor, thanks for the follow. Um, and Zone Plus is basically how I'm going to use the door hitboxes. It's a much better way of detecting if flares are inside of a door or not. So, speaking of doors, let's make a tag called uh, Gliding Door. Do that. Um, I need to actually pull up the Zone Plus API real quick. Roblox. Uh, Zone plus B 3.2.0. The documentation, here we go. Um, okay, let's get these scripted. Server script service. Oh, actually, um, where is the, okay, they're in here, right? Okay, cool. It's all, it's all integrated. Hello, yes, that's Raptor. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Okay, script time. Yeah, okay. Normally I'd put these in folders, but I don't think it's necessary for a game this small. Okay, so um local at equals game dot replicated storage dot uh modules dot ash between I have to require this, hang on. Um require boom, done, okay. Now local doors equals game get service, collection service, get not get attribute, get tagged, uh sliding door. Okay, for blank door in doors, and uh, in pairs doors do. Um, okay, so now we need to script the doors. Okay, so um, uh, let's set up some hierarchy stuff. So local uh, d1m equals door dot door one. Local d2m equals door dot door two. M standing for model. Okay, local D1O, D D1C equals door dot D1O, door dot D1C. Local D2O, D2C equals door dot D2O, door dot D2C. Locals um, hitbox equals door dot zone. Uh, let's quickly get uh, local. CP equals require game replicate storage module dot zone plus. Okay. Um, local zone equals Z, Z, ZP dot new, I think. Um, yeah, ZP dot new and then container, which would be hitbox. Okay, cool. So that should be good. Now everything's set up. So what we can do is, okay, API zone and events, uh, player entered and player exit. So zone dot player entered connect function. Okay, we should set up some other values. Um, would be the equals fault, uh, not float curve key. Um, false, um, local open equals false. So if not open and not bb then this basically makes sure that if the door is already open don't open it again if the door is on cooldown don't open the door um okay actually no this should be separate checks so if not debounce then debounce equals true um if not open then um okay, if not open then open the door so, AT tween model. So, oh wait, this needs to be a colon tween model. So, model. So, D1, D1M, time, let's do like one. Sal, you know, uh, the easing style dot, let's do sign. You know, 
ED, I out. And then goal position, we'll do uh, D1 out. And then repeat the same, except change these ones to a two. Pass that weight one. Um, and then DB equals false. Zone dot player exited. Connect function. Wait, if not DB then. Hmm. Hmm. Um, if blank zone, um, get players equals zero, then this line, this check here allows people to hold the door for others. Um, and then this would close the door. And then I should check, it should be down here. Should be it actually. Actually, no, no, this should be C. Let's see it. First play test. First play test. Yeah. We're 11 and a half hours in, and this is the first time we've actually played the game. No, trust me, I've anchored stuff. Boom, it doesn't work. Lovely. Okay. Did I even tag the doors? I did. What the hell? Um. Ah, crap. Uh, okay, is this can collide false, can touch, can query, um, can query, that's probably it, let's try it. Um, hmm. Ah, water just splashed out of my glasses. Ugh. God, okay. Um. Uh oh. Auto does not have a primary part. Local bindables is not part of player scripts. Uh, okay. Stuff happened. 82? Between model. Local bindables. Oh, right. Uh. Okay, I need to remove this. Okay, basically, what what I just deleted was a, a reduced motion system for the game, that, um, for the other game, which basically, if you turn it on, it makes all tweens, like, constant, so that it, like, doesn't overstimulate. Model does not have a primary part. Okay. can do is protein dot wrap function um that's dot weight three if not db then and then we'll close the door Model doesn't have primary parts. Okay, well, let's fix that. Door two is good, door one is not. So primary part goes to root. Check this. Two is good. Door one, root. Okay, let's try it out.
Oh, I need the extra brackets. Thank you, thank you. Basically, the idea behind that is that if you leave while the debounce is still active, um, it'll close after a couple seconds. So let's see. Doors open. Doors close. And if you tap it, it opens. And it closes. Sweet! It works! Okay. Now you can actually go inside the cafe. All right. Sit in the bean bags with some friends. By the campfire. It really needs a new animation. Uh, or at least some, like the seat to be moved down. Okay, these seats can't be used at all. Here, right? Okay. Seats need can touch on. Okay. Seat. Or be in pairs. Workspace get descendants. Do if B is a seat, then B dot can touch equals true and and I should fix it. <sighs> Now I need like a door, like sound, um, door open. Right, sliding door. Even though that's meant for a drawer, I think it works. Or no, that's too wooden. So, idea, um, insert this for the open, and this for the close. Now, do, uh, and another hydrate! Ah. Okay. 30. Actually, 45 and then let's do 10, I er, no, 15. So now we can do door dot open play. Back close. Hi. All right, sound design. Yeah. Okay. I also need like a bell sound or bell. I don't want like a ding dong doorbell. I want like a like person entered room like.
I'm gonna turn the music off so I can listen better. Okay. Insert. Or not chime, I'll do bell. Paste that into here, take these, paste that into here. Or dot bell. Okay. Whenever the door opens, the bell will play. So bell. I want it to be visible from quite far away, or audible from quite far away, so I'll do 80 and then 60. And I'll have that one. Now we need to get some smooth jazz. I'll make like a playlist. Into fjord. I'm moderated. Hmm. Let me search lo fi, see what comes up. That, that is not lo fi, that is trap. That is, that is house. What, where's the lo fi? Yeah. Oh, I've heard this before. I like this one. Uh, whatever floats your boat had this in it, I think. Easy listening is the genre, apparently. Beautiful for no, I don't. I don't do that. Uh, talking milk. That's one right now. A fantastic frontier. I don't believe I've heard of that. Cross by category. Okay, music. Cross by genre. Easy listening. Okay, this should be all the lo-fi and jazz stuff. Happy that is literally just happy birthday. Why is this here? Oh my god, okay, convenience store. Makes sense for the gas station. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sounds like gas station music. Okay, yeah. Scorch, you're right. I should quickly add a lo fi beats to relax and regenerate too. Um, let's see if it's here. I'm already out of it. I believe I have. Oh, doesn't have permission. You can find that one on my YouTube channel if you want. I made it. No, no, not my YouTube channel. The Astral Industries YouTube channel. It's pretty swag. Um, I need to upload that actually. Um, upload music. Um, where did I put it? Astral. Reach or no, no, it's in the uh, alpha. Both by beat to regenerate and relax too. If we go confirm. A hey, import success. Put you in the cafe. Let's make some uh, sound groups real quick. Outside, cafe, and then gas station. Hello, Fiery Plays. Welcome to the welcome welcome to the stream. I am currently working on a sound design for this project. So I actually need to make the. Uh... Actually, no. Before I do any of that, I'm gonna take this cash register, duplicate it, drag it into the convenience store or the uh, gas station, so that the uh, cashier here can use it. Um, okay, sound groups um, allow you to control multiple sounds at once. So you can see like right now the music's fine, right? But I'm not sure how this works in preview, but if I make this lower... Okay, it doesn't work in preview, but basically, um, anything in a uh, like sound group, whatever you do to the sound group, including putting effects on it, applies to every sound in the group. And there's also this global volume modifier here, which is what I'm looking for mainly. This will allow me to control what music plays depending on what zone of the map you're in. So, new folder. Let's do music zone. Now, just for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to have an outside zone. It'll only count as outside if you're not in any of the other zones. Welcome back, Ricard. Good to see you. <sighs> Where have your adventures brought you this time? Okay, so I'm just filling the entire station with this. Um, I'll put the Spotify music back on. Okay. We just gotta make sure those overlap. Yep. And then drag you to here. That way you continue to hear it no matter what. Okay, cafe doesn't clip into it. 
go to edge. Okay, I think that's good. What I'll do is I'll folder and yes station. Put these inside. Transparency one, can't collide false, anchored. Now let's do the same for the other locations. That held for review. Oh. <laughs> Okay, um, so this will be cafe, so let's take this, seven, neon, bright, bright green, so, anywhere you're in the cafe I need to have this. So, all the way to the wall. All the way to the back. All the way up top. Should do. I can make that transparency one. Go ahead and lock these. So now we can write a music script. Local. I'm actually going to put the sounds inside of the, um, hmm, wait. I need to look up the documentation and sound. And sounds within a bass part. The sound is considered global if it's not parents into a bass part or an attachment. Okay, so I can just put it inside the script. Okay, sweet. Let's call you music script. Oh, local zp equals game get server, not get service, game dot replicate storage dot modules dot zone plus. And I need to require this. I always forget the require. Um, okay, local sounds equals script, wait for child sounds. Um, okay, so let's call this local yes zone equals cp.new um, workspace dot music zones dot gas station get children and then local um, uh, cafe zone equals zp.new workspace dot music zones dot cafe dot part not parent dot part and that should work local per zone equal um, outside, okay, so by this, this would be one and these would be zero, so, um, guess, zone dot local player entered connect function, Let's see. so yeah, local player entered and exited our actual Hence, so we can do um, per zone equals um, gas station or in pair um, game get service sound service get children to get feed dot name okay i should just make this its own function hang on local function update music do not name equals cur zone then um, name the service tween service create uh, v info dot new three in ESS, uh, using style, style that sign, in out, and then volume equals one play. Um, else, 
would be zero. Make music. Um, cafe zone dot local player enter. Um, time for tween info. Connect function per zone equals cafe. Uh, update music. Okay, so now we can do gas zone. Uh, local player next function if um, per zone equals gas station and per zone equals outside update music and then repeat the same for the cafe Basically, this checks if you're like going in between the zones, it won't immediately switch to outside. Okay, and then hmm, we need to do the uh, playlist. Local function playlist um, folder. So, sounds. So, let's use this. Okay. While through do. Um, Thank you for the follow, Ricard. Equals one. Uh, folder get children. Do. So we'll start off with this. Folder I play. Folder dot time length. Or task dot wait. Dot time, not folder I dot time length. Or, Okay, yeah, folder i dot time length. That is the uh, time length um, sound. If uh, folder i dot time length equals zero, then break or and then uh, one sound goofed. This is just making sure that if uh, audio decides to like not exist, um, the script just gets rid of itself in order to not cause errors. Uh, this game is called In the Middle of Nowhere. It's a brief like uh, hangout and vibe place where um, you just relax in the midst of a gas station, a cafe, and the endless abyss. What it called the game on Milieu de Nul, which is literally just French for In the Middle of Nowhere, but it got moderated, so. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. Okay, so that's good, and then what I need to do is um for blank be in pairs, uh Bounds get children to coroutine dot wrap playlist and then pass in V. Should be good. Let's try her out. Animation C for lying down. Oh. Well, um, could be useful. I could put like a lying down seat somewhere here. Replace some of these bean bags. Okay, let's try it out. So, outside one. Let's give it a shot. They're hydrate. Sure. And immediately aired. Wonderful. Literally, the okay, one is not a valid member of like 57. It's probably just me being stupid. What is it? Oh. One is not a gas station. A 
Okay, instead of this, I'm just gonna do or I be in pairs. Folder get children do replace folder I with B. Uh that's cafe zone not V. So um it looks like it's L. Oh, thank you. Uh and don't worry about cursing. It it's fine. If the chat rule said no cursing, uh, that changed a long time ago. I just forgot to update it. <laughs> Major C animation model public. Folder get children. Not. What line was that? Oh god. It's stopping the game so I can fix that. You see, when I'm on a time crunch, I get stressed, and when I sh when I get stressed, errors happen. Also, studio, please don't crash on me. Okay, I think we're good. Come on. I'm not calling the game Wyoming. That passes the folder. Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, that would have broken. Um, yep, Scorch is 100% right. <laughs> Just don't get stressful now. <sighs> About that. 